ER folks, welcome, 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 uh, ER. Uh, my name is Dee Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto Livestream. And this is episode 89 of my weekly masterclass show on how to live stream. This is really the only place on earth you can get trained week after week. I mean, there's no such thing as... Uh, a book on how to live stream uh, really I mean there's no not that I know of any educational institution that really teaches live stream because you know universities and such they they need a book there's no book uh, <laughs> you know uh, I know I've been a filmmaker for over 35 years made over 900 films and and I steadfastly refuse to distribute any of those films. I rarely, rarely, rarely distribute. Uh, it just That's just the way I am. I'm an anthropological documentary filmmaker. 13 years ago, my home adopted homeland of Iceland, I uh, started live streaming and writing live stream theory for 13 years, um, mostly in my head and experimenting and experimenting and experimenting. And here uh, would occupy Toronto since day one, three years ago on October 15th, 2013. Um, I've been with Occupy Toronto Livestream since the beginning and uh, I've done over 4,800 streams in the interim. Um, the busiest live streamer on the planet. I don't think any live streamer has done more live streams uh, than who you're looking at here. It's just an intro because I know for this show um, you know you have a lot of new viewers, uh, especially in the archival views. Um, I will be talking about archives. But tonight's show, episode 89 of Shanger's How to Live Stream show, um, will focus on Android apps. I have a Galaxy S4, right? I will do another show uh, in the next week or two on the iPhone apps. Uh, but I'm going to focus on four really the only four that, <laughs> that matter. The, th the fourth one, eh, it's interesting. Um, certainly Livestream.com, Ustream, both are called Producers app, and then the uh, Bamboozer, the three main ones, and then YouTube, right? There's some interesting things. Now, <clears throat> so I'm going to focus on just the Android apps tonight, um, and I'm broadcasting here from Elsa Booktug First Nation in New Brunswick on the east coast of Canada. We're here at Gopit Lodge, is the media and warrior headquarters. This is the whole epicenter of the whole anti fracking movement here in New Brunswick. And Gopit means beaver in Mi'kmaq, and it's pronounced Go Bit. Um, yes, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Tweet, Facebook this out. Um, and uh, I, I guess I guess there's two things I'm gonna do a full-blown introduction but just a couple of things uh, I'll, I'll repeat this a lot you know with those four apps um, there's two things you got to remember whether you're gonna go with live stream you stream with you know all have free accounts right uh, there's pluses or minuses to that, namely, after 30 days, except on YouTube, um, it disappears. So you got to do archival practices, and I'll show you archival practices tonight as well. But there's two things to remember. Um, what, which channel are you going to go to? There's the best, and I will rate which are the best between Livestream, Ustream, Bamboozer, um, and YouTube and you will see for yourself tonight of course um, but there's other considerations channel settings right um, you can't have one without the other and you gotta add a third thing the archival practices I know that this is sad to say but I would say 95 to 90 percent 90 95 to 99 percent of all live streamers don't practice archival practices and if I said this once on this show, I've said this a million times, you know, really 85 to 90 percent of what I do is paperwork, you know. Um, 
If it was just about live streaming like I'm doing now, it's a piece of cake. But there's a lot of prep. There's a lot of archival work. There's a lot of promotions. There's a lot of social media medium. There's a lot of, you know, connecting with others and keeping up to date as to what's happening, uh, you know, uh, on and on and on. And, um, yeah. <coughs> yes, so... Um, is there any questions? I know the live chat is starting off slowly tonight. Sometimes it's a slow live chat, and uh, but it'll build up. And um, yeah. So first, before I get into the apps, um, just a little super quick intro to live stream itself. Live stream is so new that the word live stream in any language, uh, etymology of a word, um, the history of a word, the history of the word live stream is so new that there is no history of that word in any language. I thought yar was the universal word. Live stream in any language is live stream. Um, it is because it's barely been, you know, three or four years where we're at the well, three and a half years, really, that we broke to what's called the Mach 1 of live stream, um, where it was a two-parter for that Mach 1. It was about a little over three and a half years ago, um, where one, if you, the live streamer, had the right gear, which, of course, at that time was a laptop with software, and Procaster, the software I'm using, I'm using a laptop, and I'm using Procaster, the number one best way. I know we're talking about apps, but the best way to live stream is with livestream.com's Procaster software on a laptop. So three and a half years ago to Mach 1, uh, if you had the right laptop with the right signal, and really it was only 3G at that time, you could finally live stream at 30 frames a second. And equally for that Mach 1, if you, the viewer, which enough people had the right um, computers and the right internet signal, you could finally receive it at 30 frames a second. That was huge. And then barely six months later, Occupy started and boom, certainly the Occupy live streams have fueled more advancements in uh, live stream than any other uh, live stream channels uh, on the planet. Uh, certainly uh, live stream. Oh. Yeah, certainly live stream. Uh, dot com and Ustream were were the main ones used by Occupy, and in our heyday, we probably had five to six hundred live stream channels, and uh, the um, and uh, the uh, and most went with livestream dot com. Certainly, livestream dot com is the grand pioneer of everything. Um, formerly known as Moebius. I believe they rebranded around 2007-2008 to Livestream.com. Uh, certainly with Procaster, which is a software I'm using right now, um, is certainly the best way to live stream. Uh, you know, uh, even though I, I, as a filmmaker, would love to make the resolution that you're watching this a lot higher, I don't. Because we've done numerous tests over the last three years, um, enough times when there's thousands of viewers watching. Okay, we're doing specific tests. We're gonna down res. We're gonna up res the uh, the uh, resolution of this channel. And the higher the resolution we put it, let us know in the live chat because you might not be able to see the video, but you will tell us if you can't see anything, right? Um, and we found that the higher the resolution we put the actual channel setting, uh, the less people can watch it. So we have down uh so that I, I would say 95% of the world, anybody tuning in, because we've had people from every country on earth watch us. Um, and um, so, yeah, unless, you know, uh, <laughs> you have dial-up, <laughs> which of course you can't watch it. Uh, so that that is a very important consideration. Um, and specifically, Livestream.com is headquartered in New York. 
and the close relationship between Livestream.com and Occupy Wall Street is very revolutionary because we have fueled so much development. But most of the development is on this side with the apps, which I'll talk about tonight, and this part. I want more development in the live chat. I would love to see more interactivity. Like right now, all you have is text. Yes, some of the channels have social stream where you know you can connect it to Facebook and Twitter. So when you type on those live chat, it sends out a, an equal Twitter and, and Facebook um, uh, post uh, as well, um, which is fine. Uh, but really, uh, in terms of the, the best text layout of any live chat, you're watching it here. The original accounts, these aren't the old accounts. They're called the original versus the new.livestream.com account, which that's, I'll review that app because um, that app does not work on the original ones. Um, the um, Ustream, on the other hand, is based on Silicon Valley. And for those that don't know, it's just outside of San Francisco, right? Bamboozer is based out of Sweden. It's very big in Europe. And the, the apps in Europe are different than the apps in North America. I know this sounds crazy, but a lot of European live streamers and, and people um, who are watching live streams, European live streams from inside Europe, notice the quality difference versus the people using bamboozer apps in North America and watching them there. We've never in a million years been able to figure out why. It's the same channel, it's the same app, but the fact that we're broadcasting from outside of Europe, the quality is a lot. Thing. I, okay, that's been, you know, as of above, you know, almost a year. Um, maybe it's changed, I don't know. But Bamboozer has a North American office and it's based out of Silicon Valley as, as well. Um, and um, YouTube, of course, is owned by Google and it's headquartered, you guessed it, in Silicon Valley. And uh, yeah, so now there's, in, in, in uh, uh, researching a few things for this show, um, um, Okay, actually, before I mention the Google Hangouts, which I was going to say, there's some new stuff that even impressed me. Because as of a year ago, uh, Google Hangout, nah, it sucked. When I interview people, uh, we like to use Skype uh, because Skype is the highest quality. And we got Skype Premium, so we can have up to five people Skyped in. Uh, you know, uh, we try and keep it to about three. Uh, five is the max, but it sort of stresses out the signal. Because um, remember, what we're doing here when we're live streaming here, we're uploading. I'm solely using uploading. The fact that I'm going to show you videos and I'm going to show you stuff, um, I'm also downloading. So because I'm uploading, I'm using a lot of bandwidth, and it does stress the signal uh, lots. Um, the um, okay. The live chats. To me, I love the live chats here at the original um, Livestream.com. Uh, the new ones I'm not impressed with at the new Livestream.com uh, because it's laid out beautiful. The text, uh, we, we counted it the other week at Global Rev. There's 200 characters you could put on this live chat versus 140 uh, characters at uh, Twitter. Um, but right now, all you have is text, whether it's social stream or live chats, right? To me, you need more interactive live chats. The more interactive the live chat you have, the better, um, um, uh, more, longer the viewer um, attention span is, and the longer they watch, right? Um, so. What I like to see and what we've been espousing here is a two-part new interactive live chat. Okay, I think, yeah, we're, we're coasting on this end, right, in terms of the live chats. But here, sorry, on screen, but on the live chats, really, um, there should be a two-parter. One, 
it's a two-parter and it has to be in this specific order. One, you the viewer decide, you know, you on screen, I think uh, I'm going to click this button and if you want, audio in. So one light appears next to your username. Or you know, you, if you're lucky tonight, you're going to go full-blown audio and video, right? And so two lights appear. So that's part one. Part two, I then, or who's ever on, sc on screen decides, oh, sees that person and sees one light for audio and two lights for video. And at a certain point decides to bring them in. And then, of course, in whatever that program, I should be able to lay it out. Because as you'll see when I start showing you the apps, I'll show you my screen and how screen geography of this laptop is really, really good. Uh, there's, you know, overall with apps, uh, there's rare exceptions that only if you're super techy and super into uh, live stream, um, you know, um, but you can't mirror anything off of the, the the screen or from the internet or anywhere. With, with any cell phone, all you could do as a camera and just record. So you can't do like what I'm about to do tonight, mirror stuff, show you stuff. Um, I got amazing diagnostics. I got one, two, three, four, five diagnostic tools here. I got the mixer going on here. Uh, oh yeah, it's totally uh, rocking it. Um, I, I could uh, do rudimentary mixing between, you know, what I'm mirroring and the camera here. Uh, you know, and I got a mixer, and, and I could actually see the VU meters. I'll show you this later. Um, and whatever I can get on my desktop, that's what mirroring is. So it's not just mirroring or restreaming uh, what is on the web, whether it's a YouTube video or another live stream channel. Uh, but whatever I can get on my laptop, if I put a DVD into um, the laptop here, and play that and get it on my screen. Whatever I get on the screen, I can mirror. You know, whether it's uh, something from, um, you know, in in my hard drive as a VLC or QuickTime player. You know, whatever, whatever, whether it could be a Word document. You know, um, again, whatever you can get on your screen, you can mirror. That's what mirroring is, and. You'll, you'll see what I mean tonight uh, as soon as I start uh, the tour. So that's, in a nutshell, how young Livestream is, right? And as someone who's been writing Livestream theory for 13 years, uh, you won't you, you try looking up a dictionary definition of uh, Livestream. They all suck. Uh, they don't get it, right? But trust me. This is the truest definition of live stream because most people don't get this. Okay, dictionary definition of live stream or live stream theory 101. Half of what it is to live stream happens here on screen. The other half happens on the live chat. And somehow you merge the two into a meaningful discussion towards social change. So again, 50% happens on the live chat and 50% happens on screen, and somehow you merge the two into a meaningful discussion towards social change. If you don't have the, if you don't have the live chat on, you know, it's hard to call it live streaming because you need that interaction. Put another way, never in the history of any art form, really, uh, as we the artist on this side, at the moment we're creating, you know, that we have instant access to our audience or on your end as the audience never in the history of being an audience member can you participate in the creation of, of, of an art um, you know and that's what live stream is all about interactivity so certainly certainly uh, there's a lot of things you got to consider when you're live streaming and uh, absolutely um, 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 I'm skipping a lot of points. I'm just getting to the highlights before we get into the testing. Uh, because if you're just here for the first time or you're watching this on uh, in the archives uh, and uh, you've never been uh, immersed in live stream, uh, I think this intro will help you um, immensely. Um, so interactivity is very important because 
certainly think of it another way the difference between software live stream software and apps is you have the power of a laptop and versus the power of a cell phone they're getting better but you got the power of a software versus the power of an app far superior um, that's why as much as possible in the field at rallies and marches I you know I don't give two shits what it looks like I try and use my laptop still okay now we're at a we're just on the cusp where in the field only right if you're just covering a march and rally uh, that um, yeah I, I'd say with an iPhone right uh, it's pretty well especially with the iPhone 6 or 6 plus even the iPhone 5 uh, it's pretty damn close um, but see some of the drawbacks to apps in general is is how the diagnostics really suck. The fact that you can't really monitor the audio. There's enough times where um, you don't know that you're muted because you don't have a VU meter. The older apps had the VU meters. Why they don't have a VU meter? You know, and if, like, say, a lot of the Ferguson live streamers have so much of a troll problem, they've shut off their live chats. So they don't know that they're muted unless you tweet them that you're muted. Uh, it might seem like an embarrassing tweet, but you know what? It's better that than you being muted for another whatnot. Because we say this a million times. There's no shame in going down. What is a shame is you don't know that you're down, right? Okay. That said, two other very, very important things to live stream, and then we'll get right to it, okay? When you're live streaming... You're going to only have five production problems. That's it. Everything will fall into five major, major production problems. 80% of your production problems is a signal problem. Always the signal problem because, now mind you, you're only using upload. So if you, a lot of countries, all you have access to in the mobile world is 3G, which you're going to have a lot of problems. The fact that police jam your signal, the fact that, uh, you know, there's the politics of all these new free trade deals where internet censorship is ingrained in, say, the TPP and the, the European American uh, free trade deals and other nefarious, nasty, nasty free trade deals. There's a lot of politics, you know, there's a lot of police jamming and there's like the politics of the, our right for that signal is being eroded big time. Um, so 80% of your production problems is the signal. Um, ten, about, I'd say 15% is battery. Right, but we're at a point right now, especially with cells, that there's a lot of great external batteries uh, to, uh, especially for cell phones. Um, but 15% are going to be power problems. Uh, try and do a 24-hour stream. We've done it a million times, right? Figuratively speaking. Uh, so batteries, and and then these last three are in the five percent. Um, there's the uh, people. Okay, people not giving you gear, people trying to smash your gear, uh, you know, police trying to beat you up, police trying to shut you down, right? People, right? Um, four, um, your gear. Say it's raining and you're not prepared for it, it gets wet and whatnot. Say people are trying to smash your gear or you don't take care of your gear. You know, um, like that. And the last one, the little pinky, is live streamer fatigue. Okay? Say, right now, there's Occupy Democracy going on, right, all week since last Friday in London. They're occupying uh, Parliament Square. Um, and you're, you're there. You know, it's like the old Occupy days. They've scheduled, you know, from the 17th of October to the 26th that they're occupying it. Now, if you're there 24-7 trying to cover it because live streamers do, uh, you know, uh, really help save people uh, from 
the police crack in your heads in most places in some places they they slaughter live streamers like in Syria like in Turkey like in Egypt you know um, they, they kill civilian journalists right um, but in a lot of places being live is the operative word so live streamer fatigue is is, is really big uh, say there's a blockade and there's a huge police action that lasts 12 hours well you know you, you you're focused on live streaming and there's a million things you have to consider so um you know uh make sure you're well hydrated you know make sure you have snacks and food you know and uh, and and people protecting you but live streamer fatigue you know people don't talk about that a lot uh, hey Winston, ER, just join us on the live chat. Um, so those are the five major production problems. Remember, 80% is signal problems, 15% battery and power problems, uh, and the last 5%, you know, um, people, equipment problem, and live streamer fatigue. So those are the five main problems. Now, since, uh, there's a lot of fives in this uh, thing. Um, let's talk quickly equipment, and then I'll get into uh, signal, and then we'll go to the apps. So there's five different types of equipment that you can live stream from, and there's only five, right? There's a desktop, there's a laptop, there's a camera, there's a cell phone, and then there's the iPads, right, and such. Again, home computer, laptop, um, cell phones, cameras, and iPads, and and those such things, right? Uh, the least amount of apps is for the iPads and those types of whatever they call those things. Uh, um, it, it's okay. Um, certainly, the highest quality is shooting with a camera. But it's expensive, and you cannot, I repeat, you cannot follow the live chat when you're live streaming, which is a huge problem. Um, another problem, see, here's here's the thing. I'll always keep talking. Tablets, thank you, Winston. Okay, thank you. iPads and tablets. Okay, just, I got a million things to talk about tonight. Um, the, uh, see, the live chat, interactivity. Okay, so let's talk with these five types of equipment the archives okay certainly if you're using a, a laptop and uh, a desktop you have two saves when you're using live stream uh, software you have two saves which is very very important uh, one on the channel you're live streaming from and two um, on your hard drive called the local master right and on a cell phone you only got one save right uh, okay let me back up a sec okay the importance of having two uh, saves if you're using a desktop or laptop is say for example uh, um, just for argument's sake it's an hour-long stream okay and say for argument's sake three times we lose the signal three times we've lost the signal and we're not live to you right and say that total of downtown downtime is a minute just for argument's sake okay so this is what happens on the local master that you're uh, with a desktop or laptop that stream is one hour long and it's one player right now on because you went down three times right on the channel appears four players total of 59 minutes with a minute missing right the way you the way when you're down actually is instead of shutting off the live stream software you just reconnect because when police jam your signal and you're down you know that you're down uh you don't stop the recording you keep recording and you just reconnect so that's how you reconnect but on because you went down three times there's four, one, two, three, four players on your channel. Uh, now, because you have four players, um, you know, it's hard to 
watch unless you really want to watch it all, right? Uh, you have to watch four players and whatnot. Plus, it's missing a minute, right? But the fact that you have two saves is extremely important. Um, and uh, But the end around there, if your channel settings allow it, and I'll talk about that when I go through um, the pluses and minus of all those four channel settings at Livestream, Bamboozer, Ustream, and uh, YouTube, um, is you can upload your local master to your archives, to your studios, so uh, your server, live stream channel server, so that really, when you, you do this when you get home, so everyone's watching the one hour version in this example. Okay, so back to how the saves work in those five, desktop, laptop, cell, camera, and tablet, iPad, thank you for that, Winston. Okay, so we know you have two saves on the desktop and laptop because you're using software. On the uh, on the cell phones, you have one save, and that's on your channel, right? So if your signal goes down, until you can get signal back up or running, uh, that stuff is lost to the ages. Uh, you can never get that back um, um, and stuff. That's just the way it is. So with cell phones, you only have one archival save unfortunately that is a huge in my opinion drawback to using an app because um, you, you know most people who don't know how to live stream or live streaming for the first time you know live streaming from a cell phone is not the be all and end all okay that's why we have a weekly master class show now with a camera technically technically you have one save technically right on your channel but it's the most powerful highest quality you can live stream at you use those teradec or with live stream the uh, hd broadcaster it's a box that plugs into the hot shoe well you screw into the hot shoe and it's hdmi cable into the camera but you got to get a signal to the box whether it's a usb 3g or 4g usb internet stick whether you tether it from wi-fi or your cell phone or you know hardline into it for studio work you know with ethernet cable uh, so certainly that's the highest quality and the the save is at the channel but because it's a video camera Usually you have a flash drive in there. You can start recording before you broadcast. So you can have a backup if you want. The backup won't exactly match uh, when you go live. And if you forget to hit record, uh, because the record um, on live stream part is different. You can actually control it from the studio and in Mozambique if you want. You know, if you're live streaming in New York, right? It's just that's just the way those decks work now with the uh, iPad I must say uh, or tablets uh, certainly if you are going to use that uh, iPads are the way to go versus a tablet I'm, I'm truly not I've never live streamed from them um, there's a huge problem with that you're gonna have live streamer fatigue try and hold that up like this for even half hour your arms will be so tired um, I, I'd say they're okay, but I, you know, I'm no expert. But uh, I know in the early days, three years ago, there was just one save on the server. Uh, but then again, yeah, they're very clumsy, there, Winston. So um, I must say, of all the ways, it's the least used way to live stream. But just so you know, um, nowadays could be, uh, you know, two two saves on a local master and stuff. Okay, so that was gear. Okay, because 80%, sometimes I think it's 85%, and sometimes it's the whole thing, right? Um, that, again, it's all about 555. Five, five. I don't know, not 666, six, six, but 555. Five, five. There's only five types of signals, folks. One is the hard line, and then four are the wireless one, right? So, one, you got the hard line, the Ethernet cable. If you're uh, at home with a desktop or laptop or even in a studio with the 
cube, you know, there's the Ethernet, the hard line. Then there's your basic Wi-Fi. There's uh, tethered to your um, um, cell phone, right? There's those USB sticks, the 3G and 4G that plug into uh, your laptop um, or the cube if you're using a camera. <coughs> and then five, and I'm a huge fan of this, is the satellite phones or satellite internet. Now, technically speaking, um, these three here with the cell phone, the USB sticks, and the Wi-Fi, it's certainly geography limiting. Theoretically speaking, with a satellite phone or satellite internet, it is the only way you can guarantee on every square inch of this earth from the North Pole to the South Pole that you will get a signal. So if you're in the middle of the ocean, you could live stream, right? So really, the satellite phones, which is expensive and prices are coming down, certainly, um, um, I'm a huge fan of them. Uh, and prices are coming down. Uh, so it used to be even... A year or two ago, it was about a dollar a megabyte, right? It's certainly coming down. The theory with satellite phones is that if the more users, the cheaper it is. It used to be, you know, uh, for example, if I'm using a laptop and I'm live streaming from a laptop, for a four to five hour stream is about a gigabyte of data used. Uh, that can cost you a thousand bucks. Now, Recently, I checked, and it's a lot less. I guess it depends where you are. But if you're in the middle of nowhere, and I've told a lot of Native and First Nations people, and you have a blockade in the middle of nowhere, and you need to live stream from, the, from that blockade every now and then, that the only way you could do it, really, is if there's no signal there, is you need a satellite phone to tether your signal for, you know, your iPhone or our uh Android uh, phone now yeah uh, late this summer now there's app live stream apps for Windows uh, I'll I'll never even talk about those it's Microsoft whatever Sally uh, still as of last time I checked a couple of months ago there's no Blackberry apps for live streaming sadly there might be again as of a, a two months ago uh, there wasn't and this is October 19th now 2014 for the deep archives and uh, so that is that was uh, more or less the grand intro to yes Winston Microsoft is the evil empire I mean I know of no one on earth that loves Windows and Microsoft everyone loves Mac and OS right now the only reason I'm using a PC is because you know, for three years, the best app, uh, sorry, the best software was always, um, um, you know, PC-based. The Procaster, I'm using a laptop. I'm using Procaster. I'm using Logitech C525 camera. And uh, look at the image quality, right, compared to a lot of app live streamers, right? Um, um, and I know that there's Procaster version or with the new... Uh, for Mac OS uh, and uh, I know Procaster with the new dot live stream dot com or new live stream um, it's called producers uh, software um, it's, it's the same thing it's slightly different but it's the same thing uh, only if you're live streaming from a laptop or a desktop on uh, new live stream dot com uh, you need to use the producers app and these are called the original ones like global rev you know um, activist world news now you know and um, here these are called the original ones um, unfortunately the way um, live stream has evolved um, it seems like they left us behind sort of right because the only way to live stream onto these original accounts nowadays is with a laptop or desktop uh, it used to be you could use the HD broadcaster the cube so that if you were live streaming from um, um, with a camera you could but not anymore the apps the, uh, the producer app for new live stream um, you cannot live stream to this directly indirectly 
If someone's mirroring that channel and they mirror it onto here, you can. But as part of um, the operation, you you can't live stream to the this um, and stuff. Um, so without further ado, okay. So um, what we're so that's a grand introduction. So that if the, you know, if really you knew nothing about live stream and you saw, whoa, there's something about uh, comparing all the Android apps for Ustream, Bamboozer, live stream, and YouTube. Wow, yeah, I gotta watch the show. It's like, okay, hold your horses, you know, breathe. This intro was very important and was for you, right? Um, and uh, and even to the people just starting out as live streamers, uh, I think that this is very important. Um, I've had numerous, numerous shows talking about the theory of live stream, the art of live stream, the science of live stream, um, the politics of live stream, police tactics against live streamers. Um, but we have it. If you go at the bottom, there's a video on demand folder um, that has all the previous 89 episodes of uh, this show. Changers had a live stream show. This is episode 89. And. Um, so uh, yes, and I will also put it onto uh, YouTube because uh, really, as far as I'm concerned, as someone who's live streamed more streams than any other person on the planet, 4,800 streams and counting, folks. That the way I live stream, really, even though I'm physically here and you're watching me here, and and I'm here, right? I'm actually not here. Right, I, I enough times I, uh, to use a First Nations term, I I'm I'm like a digital shaman because I always think backwards. Everything I do is think backwards, right? And my first thought, whenever I'm live streaming, is you. I I imagine what you sitting at home, sitting in a cafe, you know, uh, whatever you may be, wherever. On Earth, you may be whether it's Meiling in Beijing or Bruce in Australia or wherever you're watching. You know, I I try I, and I guess it's the anthropological documentary filmmaker me put you in this space, right? And and it's just a gift I have as a as a filmmaker that I'm really really good at it because I, I've always been brought up as the the filmmaker is the first audience member, right? Um, but that's another story. Um, Winston is cooking in his kitchen in Silicon Valley. Woo! Sunny side up. What you cooking there, Winston? <laughs> and you also notice we've done enough shows about trolls. We're, we're, we're going to do a special show coming up as well on troll patrols. And just as a plug, uh, uh, we've been we're still working on the series on interviewing all the as and as many as possible the Ferguson live streamers um, scheduling is a problem as you, as you could see they're in, on the ground and stuff but we're working out the details we'll have Reb Z and uh, we'll have Bella Ico uh, Basem you know um, as many as we can and on Cop Watch, St. Louis Dagger Short Stacks you know uh, the Lexicon you know there's um, uh, yeah, the lexiconicum, uh, <laughs> the uh, and such. Um, uh, so stay tuned for that as well. Uh, and if you're watching this in the archives, those will be at Occupy Toronto live stream. Um, okay, so I have a Galaxy S4, and again, um, if you're, um, uh, if you're, uh, we will in the next couple of weeks uh um d shanger at d shanger same spelling as on the on this uh, live chat at, at uh, twitter so you can reach me there that's the best way to reach me or at the live chat at global rep i'm usually there day in and day out um so i have a galaxy s4 Right, the, the, right now there's the Galaxy S5 and uh, what's that new one called? The Alpha that's gonna come out. I, I think it's called the Alpha. Um, 
Uh, I will be doing one on the iPhones in the next week or two. Um, the, uh, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, well, those are pretty powerful beasts. The, the 6 Plus is this uh, size. Uh, I like the Otter case here. It's really, really good. And you notice that I have right there the new live stream app. I have the Ustream and Bamboozer. Now, imagine, like Charlie Grafs Grafsky, uh, in the last three weeks or so, I've been training Charlie to live stream. I'm going to go through all these apps, and I'm going to show you channel settings. I'm going to show you rating them based on which is the best, and Equally as important, the channel settings and the archival value of, of everything. But in using the apps, the beauty of the apps versus the laptop, you got to imagine this. You come around the corner, and you have to set these up ahead of time, these apps, so you, you could, it's all about speed. You come around the corner, coughs beating up on someone, and just like the Wild Wild West, how quickly can you whip this out, hit this, and be live? I got it down to about eight seconds right you unlock your phone you know hit the the app and be, and the next thing is record right and, and uh hit record <laughs> howard <laughs> and um So I'll show you how to set that up as well. Um, and um, I'll, I'll deal with the Ustream one first. Uh, now, um, okay, for example, really with Ustream, three things that I do to be live on a dime, right? Unlock the phone, hit the Ustream app. Okay. It's just because it's backwards. Okay. And boom, it opens to there. All I got to do is press that red button and I'm live. Right? Let me try and get the glare out. Okay. So that's how quick. Now, I'll go through everything, but in, in that scenario, the modus operandi, that was three buttons. I'll lock the phone, hit the Ustream icon, hit the record, and I'm live. I could then tweet it out and Facebook it out as well on the fly. If I have time, like I could title the broadcast, right? Now, the way you you set this up is the last time you used it okay now if okay I'm gonna try if say the last time I use this I hit the back button let's see and it goes to this and then I hit return to home right uh, that the next time I hit this it goes to this instead of that so then you gotta press this little camera button up here this little camera button up here Hello. there you go see what I mean Hello. It's it's being stubborn. See that little camera icon there? That's what you're hitting. And this one, it shouldn't be this stubborn. Okay, let me exit anyways. Hit the Ustream one. See this it, it it should have been quicker than that, uh, by the way. Um, I don't know why it's being stubborn. 
And by the way, I'm using a Wi-Fi signal onto the laptop, and I'm using the data plan on my phone. So we're not using the same uh, signal because uh, that would really, really stress out. Oh, Winston's cooking Indian food. Okay, now this, this is, I've never had this problem. Uh, Okay, there it is. Okay, so, wow. Um, so there you go. Uh, hi, hi, hello. Uh, so again, when you exit, you hit the home button, and you return to your phone, right? So that when you press, the Ustream button, boom, it goes to there and you hit record. Now, there's a few things. You can't zoom with this. There's one little problem is the volume button is actually the volume button. Unlike on the iPhone, the volume button is your zoom. You cannot zoom with the Android app for Ustream. Okay? It is your volume button. Now, you got if if you're about to go live like you are here you could title your broadcast let's see if you could read that see the bottom here before you go live you can title the broadcast you can only do that ahead of time but in my example you come around the corner the cops beating up on someone you want to be live streaming live right away uh, fuck the uh, titling right you want to go live you can retitle it back in the channel settings afterwards right no big deal right so and I will go live in a sec uh, so see that did you see that did you see that little uh, yellow that came up that means you have signal problems right that is the only way on this app that you know that you're down. Whenever you see that yellow yield sign and whatever text is there, you're no longer live, and you're uh, so you gotta wait till that disappears. Uh, that's just because we're so close here. Um, in terms of the settings, I'm gonna have to just where you hit this button. And uh, the settings, hello. Why is this being stubborn? Um, of course, with both the iPhone and this, with the app, you can do use the front camera and then switch to the back camera. Um, maybe it's because of the proximity here. Yeah, it's pretty rudimentary. I was going to go through the, the settings here, and I will. Um, why it's being stubborn? Um, let me stand back a bit. It shouldn't be a problem. It's pretty rudimentary. There's not, there's, it defaults, because it's a free account, it defaults to, uh, if you're using an Android, unfortunately, even though, see here, this is a 16-9 aspect ratio, right? 16-9 aspect ratio that um, um, when you broadcast is 4-3 and that's because we, you have a free account and because you have a free account uh, that's why you could tell it's a free account because it's it it crunches it to 4-3 now if you uh, you got the iPhone app for Ustream it uh, you actually do it at 69 uh, that's a problem for me um, Okay, that's why. Okay, a uh, bit, bit of so. See these inside. There's the three dots there. There's the microphone. There's a flash. See that means you're down, but we're now recording. And then there's the camera. Switch between the forward and the back. 
it defaults to the forward looking. Uh, this here is the flash. It actually has a light. You could there's a, this this phone has a light, so I could uh, so if it's dark at night, at least I have a little light on the phone, but it drains your batteries. This is the mic. So since the mic is not bright, uh, the uh, 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 and again this is the Ustream app. See, that's how you know you're down. But we're not live yet. You press this. Oops, the three dots. And you have toggle photo grid, right, or settings. I clicked on settings, and it's pretty rudimentary because this is the free account. If you had the pro account, it's totally different. You have broadcast, account, and about. You hit broadcast. Well, ahead of time, of course, this is all things considering, uh, default channel, you might have three or four channels, right? It's default to the Shanger, and the default camera, uh, the front, the main camera, right? So under, under broadcast, those are the only two things, right? Under account, right, there's logged in, Connected to Facebook, connected to Twitter, uh, default sharing to both Facebook and Twitter. Meaning, if I type in a post, every post that I type from this device will go to Facebook and Twitter. And you could share this whole event while you're live by clicking the, the Facebook icon or the Twitter icon. So that's a beautiful thing. So you have to set that up under account. Okay? It's rudimentary, like trust me, as a filmmaker, I want I love my bells and whistles. That's why I love a laptop. So there's broadcast, account, and about. Well, about is simple. You stream it for Android. Okay, this is two point six point four for the archives. Build five six seven. Uh go to the Play Store and rate this app and legal information. So really as far as I'm concerned. The settings suck. I like the account settings, but the broadcast settings, I'll show you. That that's the main one. All it has is two little things. Default settings where you default the channel and default the camera. Duh. Uh okay. So and again, that see these three dots right at the tip of my finger there at the far left? When you click that, that's what it is, okay? So now, uh, I gotta let it smoke. That's what troubleshooting and tutorials are for. I'm laughing out loud, says Winston. Okay. Now, for this to be the complete picture, let me just pop this on here. Okay, I'm going to be, for what it's worth, this is where I'm going to simultaneously be broadcasting to, this is my Ustream channel. If you're watching this in the archives, it's ustream.tv forward slash channel at uh, forward slash dshanger, D-E-E-S hanger. Okay, so, uh, but I will be mirroring that. Um, because you'll see why. Okay, so, um, and we'll see. Okay, so again, we'll, we'll start off this way. Uh, to go live. Now, I've already titled this. Do I have to title it again? Okay. Test. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to title it You Stream Producer. And the reason for that is because I have time. Because when you share this to Facebook while you're live, it'll include that title. Oops. Pro producer. Android. App. 
Now the amount of character, that's all the characters. You can you, you can sort of see it there. Uh I'm just can't really get much Ustream producer Android app. I'm just trying to get the you can sort of see it there. Anyhow, so I've, I've titled that, hit done, and see no, notice down here it says title. I mean it defaults opening to that, uh, but you don't have to title it. That's just if you have time. So now, let's see, I might have to turn it around to do it. It should. Now when you hit record, uh, okay, I got to hit record this way. So as soon as you hit record, I'm also a live streamer if you're watching this at Ustream uh, as part of Shanger's uh, How to Live Stream number 89 at Occupy Toronto. Here you have the time. Now, one other thing with the Android app, uh, the uh, I should be mirroring this actually. With the Android app, uh, you should save at the two hour mark. With the software, um, yeah, with the software for um, 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 say de desktop or laptop, like with Procaster or Livestream has a producer's app if you're live streaming from a cell and uh, and uh, um, so there. You're also seeing uh, what is at Ustream. Now notice that's 16.9 and that is uh, even though I'm, I'm live streaming at 16.9 aspect ratio you see that that's 16.9 that's your typical TV screen but really it's only 4.3 it crunches it right so <laughs> let me go f just the screen just so that makes life easier okay so now there is a lag here let me measure the lag here one one thousand okay let me start again one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six one thousand seven one thousand eight one thousand nine one thousand ten one thousand eleven okay so that's an eleven second lag that's from live to when it's actually broadcast so this is me laptop here this is how I'm using producers app uh, you this is I will show you some of the stuff here um, this is the procaster by um, um, live stream and See the diagnostics there? You got the time, you got the frames per second, you got the kilobits per second, you got the percentage of CP used, and then you got the text perfect stream. There's stop. Odd man out in the screen geography is always the uh, um, um, the uh, this the mixer right so there's you click that to get the mixer there's stop click within camera right now I'm on screen so I'm just mirroring or 2d or 3d and zoom in and out is to get this green see this green here wherever I frame this green oink, oink, that's what I'm mirroring see that point 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 and notice yeah so that's how you mirror now I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the 3d mix and you'll see what happens this is my live thing usually the lag when I'm live is uh, using Procaster uh, is about uh, three seconds right now I'm going to have to go to screen. Okay. Oops. Sorry. ER uh, camera. I'm going to go to camera. Okay. So 
now is the volume is down the volume is up now I use the that's the volume I, I'm using the the actual volume button and I didn't even check that there's no such thing as a VU meter right now notice when you're live streaming notice there's no live chat on here right now if someone can go to uh, the D Shanger account and type something in so right now uh, there's the chat remember there's those buttons up here uh, now because the the mic icon is more visible it's white than gray I know that I am live but it's really really small see the second one right in the middle between the three dots and the uh, lightning sign because that's lit uh, I know if that was gray it's really really hard I the fact that there's no VU meter I don't like so if you hit share so we're live so if I hit share now it, you remember how we defaulted here uh, on broadcasting Ustream producer Android app live on Ustream come watch and chat so because I that's what the title was now if I would if if it was the same example come around the corner cops beating up on someone and I'm live within eight seconds you know uh, it would just default to your standard live at thing so on now and then you could send that to uh, Twitter and Facebook if Facebook was highlighted and you press one button and if you're following me on Twitter you'll see what I mean it's it's there right now there's no chat oh, okay I'm covering the camera there's no chat here right visible I am just recording and you're seeing what I would see if I was a live streamer right now if you hit chat now, now again I'm if I was actually training someone in person it'd be a lot lengthier but this is a good primer so I clicked on chat but you notice how the image sorry you notice how the image is darker now let me try and show you the difference okay if someone could type something in okay uh, unfortunately ah that's right when you hit chat, if your live chat was going boom, 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 it fills the whole screen. It fills the whole screen. In order to get out of that is you click this. That's right. Okay, there you go. So again, okay, so you hit chat and you notice how the image, uh, okay. Again, I'm going to try and show you. Okay, look, look at the skin tones here. Look at what happens. This is... I'm looking at the screen. There, see? See how much skin tone was lost? I, I From my filmmaker eye, that, it's at least half to two-thirds the image quality. Now, if someone was to type something in, and that screen would have been fully full. So imagine Reb and Bella and everyone. Like this is all, all you can see is text. Social stream text, social stream text, and the image. So it's really, really hard, really hard to concentrate on the, on the image. And again, to get out of this, you click the back button. See? You click the back button and you're back. See, see what I mean, right? Now you can click the rear camera, and the rear camera is not working. Meaning, if you were this and you're recording stuff and you wanted to make a comment, and you click that button there, the camera switcheroo, uh, right? Or you hit the the this other one 
Ooh, I'm looking at so many screens, right? Um, and I know I did this before, and when you're watching this actually on the D. Shanger account, you're going, what the, who the, what the, to get the full blown. Um, yeah, so if someone could type something in on the social chat, um, that would be nice so we could see that. Uh, okay, uh, well, we'll leave it at that. Uh, so more or less, now, and that's all you could do with this app. It's great that you could share on the fly. It's rudimentary. Uh, when you hit the three dots, it says toggle photo grid. The only other. So I will do that. And all it does, I don't know if you could really see it. See the tic tac toe? Right? That's the only other option on the Ustream producer app. See those little tic-tac-toe type things? See that? In toggle photo grid. That's it, I guess, would help. And then to get out of it, you hit that again and it disappears. And that's all there is to this app. Right? Uh, and and then we've been going there how long now 10 56 57 58 59 now I press stop now two things happen I'm gonna do a second stop after this okay two things happen it says two things save your broadcast and then there's the title again okay so it says save your broadcast Ustream producer app don't save save right so of course being an archivist and you want you hit save and it prompts one other thing share with your friends right and I'll read it. Watch my recent broadcast. It, 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 it's a pretty standard one. Watch my recent broadcast about Ustream producer app on Ustream. At, and it has the archival link to what I just did. Uh, share, don't share. Uh, and you can click both Facebook and Twitter on and off. Right? Uh, the Twitter, for some strange reason, was off. I just clicked it on in Facebook. And then appears share, don't share. I'm going to share just because I'm an archivist. Okay. Now, can anyone see a problem with that? Because it prompts save, don't save. So, in order to save, really, I, ideally, it's a wrapper fire three to get on. Unlock the phone, hit the Ustream button, hit the record button, and three to get off, right? So you hit, uh, that button, because you were live, and it stops it, it prompts the save, don't save, and then the share, which is a bonus. Does anyone see a problem in the end with uh the save don't save that this if, if this gets snatched out of your hand right and it clicks don't save unless someone was mirroring you that's the beautiful default thing about live stream is it's a house of mirrors and everyone's mirroring you that if someone was mirroring you then yes it's saved elsewhere but if you hit don't save it's not saved there is an end around So if you're live streaming like in Ferguson and you're live streaming and we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to click this button and unfortunately I have to click it the right way. Okay. So I am now live. 
And you can tell because it's no longer red. It's the time shows up in there, right? So you're live. Cops are about to grab this from you, right? There's two ways to stop the recording, and it'll automatically, the second way, save to your thing. And a cop, okay, uh, son, uh, dear B. Sam, or, uh, you know, Bella, stop recording. Hey, hey, you're not allowed to film the police, even though you are allowed to, right? And you don't want to hit, you don't want to hit this button. You want to hit, okay, just for the record, this is hmm, 49 seconds, okay, a minute. What you do, actually, there's two ways. One, if you have on your phone a lock button, right, which most people have it on the off button, click that and it'll automatically save. Actually, it'll keep recording. If you hit lock, it'll keep recording, actually. Nyah, nyah, nyah. But then you got to save it. And if it's over two hours, you lose it. So the way you do it is hit that. Okay? You hit that. If you're watching because there's a like 11 second lag if you're watching at, at the um, you stream there you go and so by hitting this the return to home or your phone uh, it stops the recording and it's instantly saved and I will show you that uh, in a sec. Um, uh, bum bum bum. Okay. Uh, bum. I love certainly for what it's worth of all the four. Sorry, of all the four, new live stream, you stream, bamboozer, and um, and uh, um. Ustream, I love the channel settings at Ustream. It's far superior than the others. The only better is this. The what you're watching, the original live stream channels, they have the best of the best of the best channel servings. Why settings and access to the uploading and downloading stuff and everything? Uh, why this original? Why they didn't carry that over to newlivestream.com? I don't get it. Uh, so um, I go check. Now that last one that I did was not uh, titled and was not saved. It automatically defaults to, uh, you know, D Shanger. Uh, now I will show you um, here. Um, oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. Uh, So, um, yeah, so there's that and, uh, 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 uh. Now, the one little, yeah, okay, so it is public, and the other one, uh, so, okay, so that is that, and then it'll take a minute or two to buffer in from once you press stop, so it's uh, available uh, to view, right? So any questions about the Ustream app? Now, of course, if you're watching this live, you get the full total experience uh, where you can watch the actual channel. It's being broadcast. It, it, it's a sort of hoodoo voodoo mix, you know. Um, now, with any apps, uh, I found in general that the iPhone 
produces a better image and better quality um, again because it's Apple right and uh, overall overall let me have a, a drink and any questions any questions there folks um, there wasn't an echo there was there did you hear an echo there when I was broadcasting because I should do that um, okay I will I will go through uh, the new live stream one next then bamboozer and leave yeah okay that's what I thought I was just double checking uh, and and unfortunately as well with this Ustream app and the live stream app um, you can't do a mic check ahead of time like check 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 and there's no view that's a huge drawback uh, I'm a filmmaker I like my bells and whistles plus I think even the person that you know doesn't like their bells and whistles the number one problem with these apps is muted mics by accident right uh, a lot of times it's by accident it happens to the best of us and uh, you you know and not having a VU meter and it being really hard to read so really really pay really close attention you know like hit the actual volume button on an Android to see where it's at right now the fact that you don't have a VU meter if you're filming a band <laughs> the sound will sound like shit and the only way you know uh, that, that it sounded like shit um, is if the live chat tells you well someone not the trolls because they'll tell you it sounds like shit even though it's great but people you trust say ah oh, yeah step a little back uh, the sound is uh, uh, and stuff yeah I don't there might have been no no because I had the channel muted that's right okay so there wouldn't be one uh, but there might be yeah okay you know it's fine the uh, the, the volumes fine I, I had the channel muted ahead of time okay okay just overthinking but thinking of everything um, and thinking of you more than anything so any questions about you stream because certainly like I said in terms of channel settings Ustream comes out on top in in my book uh, in terms of uh, even though I'm gonna show you the best app out there is the new livestream uh, dot com app um, certainly it is the best the highest quality but there's so many back-end problems uh, the channel settings suck it used to be far superior. It is what you're watching now at Occupy Toronto live stream channel. Best channel settings on the planet. The original accounts. Why they didn't transfer that over. The huge problem with the main number one problem with the new live stream is you can't add moderators to the live chat. And a lot of the Ferguson live streamers have shut off the live chat because you cannot add a mod except you the owner which Tom you know there's a police action happening in front of you you can't where you know there's paid police trolls trolling your social stream and your streams going zoom 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 uh, plus it's so much smaller and hard to read at the new livestream.com um, um, that uh, you you can't be you know banning people plus the way the ban works on the new one uh, I think sucks there's so much more options here at the original ones uh, where we could because here's the thing folks um, when you ban trolls you ban their IP addy you know that that person is a troll that you know that that person's a, a, a cop if you start talking about when you ban people ban their IP addy right they come back to you, these police trolls, and say, oh, no, no, don't ban their IP address. You don't know what you're talking about, right? Click on this link. Never click on that link, ever, ever, because they're a police troll, and they're trying to say, no, don't ban your, your addy. Because when you ban people, 
you don't I never ban their usernames because someone will just sign up and 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 these paid police trolls they just you know they got dozens and dozens of usernames right I banned their IP address so it locks out that computer forever from ever coming to that channel ever again uh, and, and typing in something no matter what username they try you've banned that IP address and you've locked it out of that channel from ever commenting again that is the way to do it right with the new live stream when you ban someone you can either delete that comment which is like oh yeah you're right it's a lot of work or you ban that person outright but unfortunately with the new live stream you only ban the username and it does a big no-no in my book it it clears all their messages now here's here's another tactic that people don't know about was when you ban someone never ever ever ban their comments because trolls work as a pack and our motto is don't feed the trolls if people are coming on here and being racist sexist whatever don't feed the trolls just ban their ass but don't clear their comments because the other trolls will step in why'd you ban that person that person didn't say anything then they go on and on and on about the fact where all you got to say is just scroll up and thing so I don't like the fact that uh, they uh, the new livestream.com live chat uh, bans only the username and clears their comments I have a major problem with clearing comments but that's just us here at uh, Occupy uh, plus it's a lot smaller I like the layout here right uh, of uh, of uh, at Occupy Toronto I love the layout you know it's nice size text you know there's a lot of info there you got 200 characters you know um, to type in right um, and uh, yeah uh, and uh, yeah so it's um, now some of the pluses the amazing pluses of the new livestream.com account is it saves the live chat. Now it doesn't save if you had like 100,000 viewers and 50,000 comments, it doesn't save all 50,000 comments, right? I think Bamboozer is the only one that saves every last living one, right? And I'll get to Bamboozer after I get to live stream. Um, so at least it saves a good chunk of uh, the live chat and new live stream um, at the original ones here they don't save the live chats unfortunately that's sad as an archivist oh my god we've lost so much great discussion but at the new one at least it saves a lot and watching the archives at the new live stream is flawless you just hit play boom done here it's a little harder to view the archives only because a lot of the servers at livestream.com is dedicated to new livestream.com. I know a lot of us feel left behind by livestream, but we love livestream. Livestream is the pioneer. If we didn't have livestream.com, right, we wouldn't have live streaming at this leading edge that we have it. But some of their decision making um, leaves some things to be desired. Uh, uh, even though it is the best app by far and I'll show you that next um, uh, channel settings suck the server access sucks on the free accounts of course because they want you to upgrade right now certainly the best of these four channel settings is certainly Ustream it's beautiful server access uh, the original ones that you're watching here have the best channel settings on the planet um, and here's another thing you coming to that channel okay at least with Ustream notice you go to that channel Ustream.tv forward slash channel forward slash dshagger and it's just like here you come to here and if we're live boom you don't have to do nothing special it just pops off live right uh, with Ustream 
you go to Ustream, Dshanger, or whatever channel, you know, Bella Ico, you know, um, Reb Z, Basem, boom, they're there, right? Piece of cake. You don't have to do nothing. One stop, you just click on that URL, you're there, right? Uh uh, with new livestream.com. Um, if you go click on that um, new livestream.com events page, there's no such thing at new livestream.com like what you're watching here as one stop shopping. It is a minefield in so many ways, right? Um, that um, And criticism is necessary to move the struggle further. I am not dissing live stream. I am just super critical of the pluses and minuses. So that say you don't have and <clears throat> your username at the original live stream account is good at all original live stream accounts. The username that you're typing at Ustream, your username at uh, uh, at Ustream is good on all U Ustream channels. The fact that your username that you have now at the original accounts here, you cannot use at new.livestream.com account. So say, like a lot of people, you don't have a new.livestream.com account. There's no such thing as going to a page like you come here to Occupy Toronto or if we're being restreamed at other places. That, uh -uh, that doesn't exist. You have to go to events page. And you can't, uh, with a free account at new.livestream.com, have what they call a vanity account, where it's new.livestream.com forward slash Occupy Toronto. You can't have that with a free account. You can with Ustream, but you can't. To upgrade to a, what they call a vanity URL, uh, you need to upgrade, right? And and in order for you to live stream, yeah, you would have a, what's called a rudimentary homepage, where if you created 20 events, all those events, which is the top events page is there, and then you have to click on that. But here's the problem, folks. If you want to go to that live event at new.livestream.com account, it is hell trying to watch it if you are not signed in with your new livestream.com account because what will happen is the screen goes virtually black and a sign-in thing comes on log in with Facebook or create a username now you think it would be that simple okay uh, I'm logged in with uh, Facebook I'm on uh, Facebook's on another tab I'm gonna click Facebook and I'm in no, you still got to put your username on Facebook and type your password. Then you're in. Then you could see it. Right? Or, but if you don't, someone that doesn't like Facebook, uh, then you have to create a new username. Now, it's not one-stop shopping. You go to it like here or Ustream or Bamboozer and you're ready to go. No, you got to go through hurdles. And <clears throat> trust me, um, it's frustrating. Now, if you're signing up for a new livestream.com username, it takes two to four pages, two or four times removed. Because when you sign up for it, what they're also doing is giving you a free channel. And, and you got to go through a whole bunch of hoops. It's not like in the old days you sign up for a username here and it's really, really simple. Uh, that it, it, you got to go through hurdles by logging in with creating it from uh, your email address and creating a password. Uh, meanwhile, you're like, uh, where was I? And where am I? And where was that page again? And if you're not tech savvy, you're like, okay, I'm out of here right um, so that is a huge 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 drawback to the new livestream.com account the fact that you can't add mods that's a new thing I know as of six months ago eight months ago you can add mods moderators to your live chat to ban people uh, I don't know even though it's the best app but the fact is uh, 
you know what I just and this is why I showed you the Ustream app um, first is remember that thing you come around the corner you see the cops beating up on someone and like the Wild Wild West three buttons unlock hit the Ustream app thing hit record and you're live I can do it in eight seconds give or take two seconds either way and you're live to the world right if as I showed you you have it set up ahead of time but that's simple it's even if you don't and you have to press four buttons uh, it's fine it's boom 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 right you don't have to create an events page to live stream at Ustream with the app you can and a lot of people do right and remember when you set all these uh, dates and start times on uh, live stream and at uh, Ustream um, and you create a, an event uh, to let people know it's not a hard start time and an end time it doesn't matter if you start on time right or or you finish way ahead way before or after you've said it's just a ballpark for people those numbers are meaningless in terms of them automatically stopping you or you know this or that right so don't worry about that but so really uh i didn't have to go to events page uh for for this ustream app uh, with new livestream.com account, certainly the app is number one in my book. You're actually live streaming at the highest quality possible. Certainly with an iPhone, it's probably even higher quality than Android. Um, but certainly of all the Android apps, El Numero Uno, as always, the pioneers, livestream.com, uh, new livestream. And the uh, troll wants to derail things. Yes, that's right there, Winston. It's pretty uh, dismal. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, what can I say? So, now, I'm going to go. Okay, so. I'm going to have to show you this at the new. Okay, so. Uh, next. New.livestream.com. Okay, so. Uh, I did a show, episode 86, specifically all the exhaustive channel settings at Ustream. So I'm not going to go through all the exhaustive channel settings. And those you have to do on a laptop or desktop, right, for your channel at Ustream. Uh, you can go back to that and review that episode. Um, okay, so the, here is, again, this is, un unless you have a paid new livestream.com account, you can't have a what they call a vanity URL uh, web address. So it's a numbered one. Uh, so that's mine there. Now, so you notice when you come to it, you know, you have this. I will go a little bit further into the channel settings, rudimentary as they are. You know, it has your name, which you could change, info about you, share this, that. that. Now, There's nothing on screen. Unlike here at Occupy Toronto, boom, you know, there's a live chat, there's this. Okay, I'm mirroring this, that's why it goes like that. But uh, so there's no. You come there and you're like, because uh, if you go to you stream, I stream. We all stream for I stream. Um, uh, okay. 
So if you go to Ustream DShanger, it's the same thing as what you're watching now, right? Boom. Only I've pro we're, we're not live, but I program some of my flying content, right? So at least, and you notice that Occupy Toronto, we have a lot of when you're not live. Uh, this is uh, stuff that I programmed, and I've showed you how to program that. So at least, or you could program a slideshow. Those are the two options at Ustream. Either you could program in order, right? Uh, which videos you play, but this is the Ustream, right? And it it shows the the title. Uh, you know, well the default title. Oh, the default title when it first comes on is that the hanger. And then it snaps into that, right? Um, okay, so uh, it's that. So if you go to a uh, bit of a here, this is the new live stream. If you're watching this in the archives and you want to pause it to see what it is, there's that. Okay, so that. So now you now. The only reason why it's not a darkened screen and it's the login thing that comes in is because I'm already logged in, right? Um, so you come to it and you're like, uh, hello, uh, what? Now, it, of, of course, you know, there's on this side of the screen, there is this followers and following. Um, but you come to it and all you see is what, where, who, what. Plus, remember, if you're not logged in, most of this is a darkened screen. And in the center is a pop-out window, log in with Facebook or create a username, right? And you can't even get to this page until you go through all those hurdles, right? That is a huge barrier for a lot of people. Um, and of course, this is, it's the best. So, and I defaulted it to what most people would come to uh, because you need an events page, right? Now, I've rudimentary created a an events page here. Um, I, I, I didn't have time to finish it before I went live. And here it says draft test day live stream producers right so I'm gonna so and now if I was live this would have a red border and it would say live on it so at least once you get through the hoops of logging in and come to it now yes you have an events page so you know um, uh, uh, and I haven't published this event yet um, so this is test day live stream producers app for Android is the title. I didn't get to put a picture. Um, edit event. Right, custom URL. Well, that's only if here. That's irrelevant. Uh, because it's a free account, right? Uh, about, you know, okay. Test. One, two, three. ER. Okay. And, uh, since I don't have a picture, uh, Upload image. I like the go live. Open that. And I can now when you upload the picture, you can crop the picture. Right? So there and uh the uh, crop to print. This is when you're creating the. It, it it doesn't crop it as good as you want. It it sort of does its own. It's not a full blown. Whatever. Okay, you do that. It's crop picture, right? It's it it. Uh, okay. I, I'm, 
I'm so precise and everything. It's just okay. What? Uh, it's just a time thing here. Okay, that's fine. Then you hit crop, and there's the event thing. Start time. Okay, it's uh, it's eleven. This is all Eastern Standard Time, right? Uh, 11.55 in three minutes. And it ends... Uh, it was zero. Oh, okay, 12. Uh, 10. Okay, so this is it'll be a 15 in the a.m. Right? Tags. Okay, you can put whatever. Links. You can put whatever. Uh, display viewer count. Yes. Live chat, of course. But you could disable the live chat. Right? Uh, commenting. Enable comments on posts. Meaning after you've gone, you haven't, you, after you're not live anymore, <laughs> excuse me, Ma, can people still post on the archive of that, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm an archivist, I, I, no problem. And finally, uh, update settings. Now, in the example that I showed you, Say you had just downloaded the app and you're walking out and you forgot that you had to create this whole events page and you come around the corner and you uh, uh, see the cop beating up on someone. 10, 15 minutes later, you're still trying to go live because you have to. You can create this same thing through your, your Android or iPhone, right? So unless you've created an events page, you cannot go live. I repeat, you cannot go live. Remember how I showed you on the app how you could set it? So it's one, two, three, and you're live, right? Unlock your phone, hit the you, uh, screen, uh, stream app, and boom, go live. I'll show you how to set that up for live stream as well, right? A lot of people don't notice. So we've now save this I'm just gonna make sure okay so that's done it's saved then oh, wow I'm announcing it just so now I publish and announce that da, 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 da. what why did it change the start time this is weird okay so now if it does the final thing, events title, start date, and time. Now it changed the time. Uh, why? I have no idea. Okay, that's even better because it's 11.55 a.m. So I'll change it to uh, 59. Okay, in the p.m. and this will end on the 20th at 12. Uh, okay, uh, let's make it fifth. Woo. Uh, 15 in the AM. See why I changed that? That's weird. Okay, uh, publish and announce. So now that would have gone at whatever you're linked to at the channel settings, which uh, is only on Facebook and Twitter. I don't think you can link it. Bamboozer, you can link it with a hell of a lot more. A Ustream, you can only link it to three things. One is for the archives, your YouTube channel, Twitter, and Facebook. With live stream, yeah, I think it's only Facebook, actually. I don't understand why... Um, but you, you need to create... So there we go, the photo. You can edit the event, right? That, look, and you got the countdown here. It's starting 
in one minute and 43 seconds, but it's irrelevant if you don't start on time. It's not going to go live all of a sudden. No, unfortunately, no. Uh, uh, so now I could live stream from this laptop, but today's show is Android uh, apps, right? And the way it is, and you, you'll see it on the uh, phones as well. Um, of course, you need to download the producer app for live stream, right? And it's got, and you know it's live stream because it's got this logo. It's mostly that, right? Uh, Ustream has the U and it's blue. But uh, you'll notice here, if I was to go live from here with producer app, I would press this. But I just familiarize. I can add more text. I can add a video to this events page. I can add more photos, right? Now here's the thing. Whoops. Uh, viewer account is required. You can't unlock it. A lot of viewers to watch unless uh, you upgrade to the basic plan. Right, unless you have a paid account and the rock bottom uh, one, uh, you can't disable it. Which, see, I got a problem with that. Viewer account required to watch it. I, I, I showed you the, all the hoops um, um, that you go through. See, the problem with allowing anybody to type is a lot of trolls then make up names. I've seen trolls, if you disable this, where they don't need an account to type, right? Uh, I've seen them come up with D Shanger, D underscore Shanger, right? Make up names, you know? Untold Carlisle, you know, Rise PDX, you know, different ones, they did, so they, so that's why I don't like, I, 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 it's important that people log in to type. If you don't allow them to type in, um, well, you can't ban them. If they've just made up one, don't make up a hundred more, right? Because here at Livestream, you can't ban their IP Addy like you can at Ustream. Right? So now... You would actually give out this URL. So at least, like if you're promoting it, that last one, which is the, the home page of D Shanger. So at least here it has this. Now, if this is a paid account, you can actually title the event somewhere here. This would not have this. This would this would be new.livestream.com, say D Shanger events, and then the name. Right, so this part of accounts and the number is replaced by D Shanger events, and then I could title it. But that's the advantage of upgrading. This this is part of the strategy, new strategy at live stream, um, because it's not yet. Sadly, even though they are the best, you stream and live stream, the big problem is a money making venture, and they're not making money. And so the the new switch at live stream is more towards the pro accounts and the paid accounts versus for social change like they started off, right? Um, that's just the way it is, right? So, okay, now this event does not have any posts. So if you notice, if you go to say to uh, St. Louis Dagger or others that are live streaming from new live stream, uh, that um, um there would be the and they're live there would be a little uh uh box here with the picture it'd be highlighted in red and it said the word live and you'd have to click on it or uh, it might just appear there now on this events page you could put it say from october 1st to October 31st. It's almost irrelevant. That's what a lot of people do actually. Create a huge 
time frame for it so that everything that you've done is saved here. So it could have like 20 videos on this events page, right? It's an end around. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and again, with Ustream and with new live stream, with a free account, after 30 days, your your uh, video is deleted, right? So you need um, more. Um, You need to practice archival practices, and both the way uh, Ustream and Livestream in terms of archival practices, uh, both are excellent, right? Um, with Ustream, you can actually do a direct, if you sync up your Ustream account with your Livestream, sorry, your Ustream uh, channel, it'll go directly to it. Unfortunately, uh, there's been problems in the past between uh, and bad blood between uh, live stream and YouTube. It doesn't have that direct up up link, um, but you could at least download it to your laptop. Which after every recording, when you get home, you should download it to your laptop or desktop. Right? Absolutely. Certainly with UStream, you do two things: you download it to YouTube. And you download it to your your um, laptop. Doesn't take a long time to start getting into archival practices, or else after 30 days they're wiped off and they're part of the digital dust and forever lost to the ages. Uh, the fact that if you put it on YouTube, at least theoretically speaking, hundreds of years from now it'll still be available. Theoretically speaking, right? Because you know. It's YouTube, right? Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, so, these are some of the hurdles. Uh, now, we're not live yet. So, here is the app. Now, in order to show you the app, I'll, I will do it. But, uh, no, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do this. Okay, so now I didn't set this up ahead of time. Yar, hey, yar, of course. Oh, it's, that's okay. Uh, so here we're here, right? Um, so you click now. <clears throat> Okay, so I opened it, and it defaults to my events. I have to go through this hurdle if I haven't set it up ahead of time, and I haven't. So it defaults to the old thing, because that's another account, so I have to change. Okay, I'm going to log out of that. I'm going to log in uh, with... Uh, 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 like I said, I haven't logged in. Uh, yeah, we have a few uh, accounts there. Uh, okay, so. So that's another hurdle that you have to set it up. Ahead. And I'll show you how to properly set it up. One, two, three, uh, like that. So let me double check. Okay, so it's test day. So I open it up. I, I just changed accounts. This is the D Shanger one. So as we just published test day, uh, live stream producers app. And you just click on that, and you go to this. Okay, remember I showed you the text, photo. Like if I'm on the road and I'm going to a rally and go, uh, oh, uh, yeah, there's a couple of photos I took. And, uh, oh, I want to add more text and uh, to the events page. Oh, I want to add another video. Because uh, so-and-so, you know, whatever, you know, uh, 
create a post. Okay, I'll be live in like uh, 30 minutes on my way, you know, and stuff like that. So uh, I could do a web preview. I could share the event from here. Uh, it's pretty powerful. This is the best app. But you can't just think of it, oh, share, what's the best app? Well, it's the live stream, of course. They're the best. But I have to talk about the channel settings. I have to talk about the viewers access to your material and if they got to go through hurdles and you, you know okay so you could do a lot of things here okay I'm gonna go through um, the settings rudimentary so again settings I had clicked on those three dots and you have it's pretty rudimentary it's version 1.3.4 it's live stream producers app terms and policy uh, zero tolerance on piracy a eh? yar uh connected accounts ftp serving address uh port notify me okay so um click on ver okay terms and policies okay it's just text right useless in terms of what I need you know zero tolerance on privacy uh, piracy yar uh, okay whatever connected accounts of course the different accounts uh, and FTP running on and off the address the port notify me okay uh, that's it nothing like or even on the channel settings uh, if you're using a laptop or thing on uh, on uh, um, um, you know aspect ratio resolution bit rate um, a whole host of other things that I would really, really need, you know. Uh, the bit rate is, the, you know, kilobits per second, and to be able to set those settings, uh, the camera resolution, like, oh, a whole host of, none of that. This is a free account. Either on Ustream, in terms of the app, neither on live stream, as I showed you earlier, the app, that's it. That's all there is on this. But you can do a lot more. This is the best, right? Um, there is the edit button up here where I can now take a photo or choose from a library. Right? So if I take a picture of myself, it automatically goes on the events page. So, you know, the events page has a lot of really good stuff. Certainly the events page that you create here, because remember, on Ustream, you can also do an events page, but this is exhaustive. Take pictures, you know, I can edit the event uh, or choose from the library, you know. I can add text. There's a web preview right of uh, how it looks I could take a photo you know take a photo uh, right I can add text take a photo uh, upload a video if I had a video stored in here uh, create your first post I can edit the event from here, right? Uh, I could share the event again um, and stuff. Um, and it shows that it's in progress. Again, it doesn't matter. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click that. Live video. Uh, Post live video using your phone or live stream broadcaster. Uh, the cube. It slides onto cameras. 
right? Um, I can control the on off of that cube from here. So this is why when I click live video, it says post live video using your phone or live stream broadcaster. That That's what it's called. Or you hit cancel. I'm going to click on your phone. And ta-da! The most powerful live stream app on the planet all things considering okay so here it is baby uh, now we're not live yet okay now remember before we get into the app I have to tell this story a million times you come around the corner this is the value of these apps and, and there's prep to it to always be ready. If you're serious about life, you always got to be ready. You come around the corner, cops beating up someone, you want to be live within five to ten seconds, right? I am not live yet on that channel because there's the go live, right? Now, like the Ustream app, if I click this and I go back to there. Now let's see if it... Uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna... Oh, it did it actually. There you go. Uh, okay, so I come around the corner, I whip out this phone, I unlock it. You should always lock your phone, folks. And set it so that one button and it locks as well. So I click, uh, I click that, and boom! See that? One, two, three as well. Now that's providing that you've set up an events page. Now say you hadn't live streamed in a couple of weeks. You had created an event that, like this one, lasted 15 minutes right and uh you forgot about it uh and you come around the corner and you see that and you whip it out and you're live in like eight to ten seconds and you start recording well it'll record at that old thing it's irrelevant because then you could tweet facebook it out that you're live there so at least people could see you and at least it's saved somewhere right so it's archivally it's a mess but you could deal with it, right? You you really can. You really can. Uh, but then again, uh, everyone talks about, well, this is how the app works. And you go to a video and a nice 10 minute video, this is this button and this is how the app works. There's more to it than that. And this is a master class show on how to live stream, right? And we, we talk about everything, right? And um, so, um, So again, I'm done. This is how you should exit. So that, okay, let's see if I can ninja this. Boom! Actually, this app comes snaps on a lot quicker than uh, Ustream, right? And then all I do is press go live and notice it has a lot more functions right I hit go live and I'm live boom boom right uh, again this bar this white strip that's to title it uh, that no that, that's uh, yeah press here to title this particular one because remember on these events pages you created it and stuff you can have as many videos as you want. It's unlimited, right? After 30 days, if it's a free account, it'll get, be wiped out. So you, each one, you can label it a different name, right? Um, so now, say for example, you would hit the back button, and it goes to here, and then you exited there so that when you go to there certainly it reacts a lot quicker it goes to this 
Then just like before, it's like looking into the mirror. I'd have to press that, and at least it's a lot bigger. Then it shows you uh, this page again, right? Livestream broadcaster. I like the fact of I have livestream broadcaster. It's for the Occupopter, the live streaming, the world's first eye from the sky. Then it goes to here. So actually, it's four. If you had forgotten, it's unlock the phone, hit the live stream uh, button, go live, then where do you want to go to live? Now, it says live stream broadcaster because I have live stream broadcaster synced up to this channel, right? Uh, that device is synced up. That's why I, I go an extra step here. Usually, you would just go right to from go live to this, right? So that's very, very important um, uh, in terms of setup. And most people won't tell you this. They'll tell you the nuts and bolts of this. Okay, so I'm going to title this. I'm just going to title this Yar. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Go and boom, we are now live and direct. Whoa, just titling it and hitting go, we are now live. Now, the lag okay, remember it was 11 second lag at Ustream. I've tested it here before. Uh, notice the title here is Yar. There's about a 30 second lag, and I should have counted that. Uh, actually, uh, there is a, a counter on the, on this, and I will read it out when this image. But there's about a 30-second lag with this. Uh, there's a lot of buffering. There's a lot of everything. Um, so it'll notify followers. And I will read it out when this image. There's about a 30-second lag with this. Uh, there's a lot of buffering. There's a lot of everything. Um, so that was just the echo it's still buffering in still buffering in uh, I've just muted it I'm waiting for the image to appear uh, and again if you're watching this at new livestream.com in the archives it's uh, still buffering in uh, maybe do I have to refresh the page now actually uh, I'm gonna do one thing I'm gonna go back for a sec oh okay why is it not uh, we are live I know we're live we've been live for 142 uh, why it's not showing up is a weird one because certainly there's the yar here uh, and certainly the laptop which I'm live streaming from has a different signal uh, I'm using the data on my phone so it's the same thing as I titled it uh, it should be live and about here will be the live chat and the image will be just above here I've refreshed the page um, now that is weird because see it says live now uh, maybe others uh, right there uh, I'm gonna go to the events page here it is at the events page uh, I was trying to refresh yeah this yeah this is weird that it's not uh, this should not be happening, folks. I should have an image. I'm sure if you go to that, uh, it'll be fine. Um, this should not be happening. Uh, I know that we're live now. And I know the volume. I've checked the volume. Again, there is no Zoom function on this Android uh, app. But, okay. Well, that that's fine. Uh, so what I will do is I'll just go to camera and leave it at that. Uh, now, there's some beautiful things with this 
I love this diagnostic tool here uh, beside the go live which is strategically placed we've been live uh, for two minutes there's the uh, kilobits per second and notice there's an arrow going up and it shows the number of viewers beside it so this is nice I really like the it, that here it has the head and shoulder here and the number of viewers and that they has the kilobits per second and the time and, and if I press that that's how you stop right there's a few other things there's the chat and a few other functions there uh, those are just phone functions um, it's got the time it's got the battery level. Notice with Ustream, it doesn't have the battery level. Oh, sorry, signal strength. And let me read it out. So it has, you know, what type of signal it has. Uh, LTE, right? Uh, 4K. Uh, it's got the, the battery level. I'm at 79%. It's got the time visible. It's got the forward and backwards camera. I could use the light here on, let me turn on the light, I don't want to blast you, but see, I could turn on the light. Now like before, I did this before, no, I shouldn't have pressed it, uh, okay. Ah, ah. Okay, so see where the mic, now the mic is white which means it's on plus if I press the actual volume button is like that if it was all the way down you're muted and you just put it on high and it's auto automatic okay now I've had this problem before where I mean, this drains a lot of battery using that light. And I turn it on, but I am so far. It's really, really. This it, is weird. Uh, now, I've turned right beside the mic where you press the camera I've reversed it so this is if you're watching and you need to talk to someone going right uh, if I press that camera button it switches it to that the front camera right um, let me uh, the light the light It's really tricky. Okay. Now. Okay. Well, well, uh, it's being stubborn. Okay. So that's. I've taken care of the diagnostic. Notice it has a lot more functions. Right? Like how many viewers. And, right? The. Uh, we're at. Bouncing between uh, 550 kilobits per second to 600. That, that's pretty normal. That's not too bad of a bandwidth. Uh, that's about right. Um, and stuff. Certainly the quality is far superior. So we've talked about these buttons. And where to record one. It's nice and neat. We've talked about those basic functions. Uh, you could mute it by pressing the mic but icon here right there next to the flash one so once you turn on the light that's it and you're draining a lot of battery but okay so now so that's stuff that you know uh, okay so there is the chat so if I click the chat which is this button there it appears 
I could chat with people. Uh, so if people are chatting, I could see the chat. Um, I could type. Then there's the secondary one there. That's the share. It's sort of like the file thing uh, right there. Right? So, which I will do. Right? So I could share to Facebook and whatnot. I could, uh, and it, it, I can't add additional text. Uh, so I've clicked the Twitter icon and it's loading in something. I guess it's waiting to do its own hoodoo hoodoo, but I don't like that that is taking that much time. But there is that X button up there. Um, Hit the, I hit the Facebook icon and it's doing that. Uh, and that sends it out. Okay, now I'll, I'll leave the photo one for last. So, uh, but a bit of a Okay, so this one here, uh, let me press it again. When I press that far one, that's if I want to chat, like what's happening and whatnot. Now you can't, well, you, you get out of it by the back button here, right? You get back to the screen that you're still recording of course okay now the final thing here is this the camera icon uh, this far one I was what I just did this is on because it's the share button this is the chat button the photo this is a beautiful thing here uh, okay, now I, I hit that photo button just arbitrarily and it took a photo. So that, when you click that photo button, it takes that picture. Now, I'm going to cancel that. So you frame it. I'm going to frame this. Oh man, I wish the light wasn't on. Uh, Okay, uh, because it's ruining a lot of things. Okay, so uh, I'm live streaming. I'm going to take a picture. Now you tap on the screen for photo. Okay, I, I pressed... I, I pressed the photo icon okay I'm not too pleased with that because I can't turn off the light so okay so I, I pressed the photo thing and, and notice we're still recording right now send or cancel if you want to reframe and then you could title it put a caption Your laptop screen, just to, and so because I'm titling it, it takes you away from that, and you have to do, and then just hit send. Right there, 
which I'll hit send and if okay I'm not as a photographer turn filmmaker turn live streamer I'm not proud of that photo but this light Urgh! okay so now now I know if you're watching this at new the last year not coming you're going okay what are you talking about I hear you but what the who the what the are you talking about dear brother I hear you but I don't see is because you have to watch this at the archives of uh, Shangers had a live stream number 89 at occupied Toronto live stream which is livestream.com forward slash occupied Toronto with the original ones okay and then it'll make sense um, if you're watching this live and you're watching both, then it'll sort of make sense. Okay, so so those are the basic functions, and I love that photo feature. You know, uh, cops beating up on someone, you know, or this or that, or uh, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, someone famous at the rally. You know, you take that picture and you put the name and you tweet it out. It'll take two seconds and stuff. So now I'm going to press stop. Okay, now. When you press stop, and I'm going to do a second one where I don't press stop record. Okay, now. Notice it says a notification. Would you like to post the video to your event post or I we archivists hate this button delete right hit post and then it snaps back ready to go okay now remember there's a 30 second lag okay I'm gonna get out of this so it turns off the light and all I did is just press this. It was on standby mode, right? Um, which, as a matter of fact, when you're exiting a rally, remember, I hit stop, and then it was the post or delete, and then it snapped back to this. When you're actually leaving a rally and you have you stop live streaming, you should leave it at this. So you whip it out and, you know, unlock and then go live. So it's actually quicker. Okay, so it's uh, still, you know, why it's showing up like this for me. Okay, so oh. <laughs> this is funny. It arbitrarily picks a thumbnail. So there it is. <laughs> I love it. So I guess when that's tweeted out and it says "yar," yeah, that's me. In a weird way, uh, but I wanted to show you the quality, uh, how far superior this is. Um, yeah, let's just a little bit, okay? Just we're we're gonna now we're gonna start it off, okay? Let's do the UStream one. Uh, Let's let's watch the UStream app. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. Let's watch. Remember, this is the UStream app. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I was playing this. Um, mute. Uh, let me do this. Why is it being stubborn? I 
it is being stubborn. Huh? That is weird. Okay, this is something. Let me show you this then. Something I actually did three weeks ago. Now there's a lag. I'm measuring the lag. Okay, so that lag was I went live and I'm at 14 seconds now. So there's a 14 second lag. You notice the lag there. Uh, I've been live for 14 seconds, but uh, it took all that time. It finally went live. So, yeah. So we're watching all this. So this is the forward-looking camera. Oh, the reverse. Okay, so we'll do it this way. There's even a 12-second lag live. If uh, the audio you, you're hearing live at Occupy Toronto live stream, um, and this is the app. Um, so I'm live streaming live here. And so the app... Um, I've titled the event how to live stream with you stream and the but that's all the words I could fit how to live stream with w forward slash you stream I wanted to fit the word app but I can't right uh, but then again I will show you after this recording uh, how uh, you can then, when you go through the dashboard, right, you can, you click on the dashboard there. Actually, this is a good view of the screen geography of Procaster. Um, I've never seen how it looks if I'm recording. No, it doesn't create anything. So you notice the screen geography of, I have the preview window for Procaster, right? Um, the live chat is part of Procaster. Uh, this is, uh, um, there. Um, this is the preview, Procaster for Livestream.com. There's a live chat part. Great diagnostics, right? I have the browser here um, I have the this see here when I uh, right now I'm on screen which is what I'm mirroring um, so that what you're watching on Occupy Toronto is see by changing that how go right that that's how you mirror uh, and stuff um, that's the recording there uh, there's another way to zoom in and out with uh, zoom out with that you know and that but I like to control it. Like so, the odd man out always is this, and actually to activate the mixer, you have to click mixer. It's all how you put this. I usually put it here. Like if I'm gonna switch to, from this, this was the 3D. Is it still frozen? Yes, it's frozen and it might even have stopped. It stopped. So I'm not live at Occupy Toronto. So what I'm going to do is just temporarily save at Occupy Toronto, right? Uh, Shangers uh, to live stream number 85A, and just put the time 159A. M A S T. Uh, I'm gonna save that. Go live. It froze. Sometimes when you switch from camera to uh, there we go. See, 
that pops there's that so I just always click that go to here uh, cheat it up there do that I like you know I like uh, red cheat that back see this is the color correction window which I don't use a lot but if I just put it in the background you click mixer mixer comes on right so now I'm on 3d mix okay um, I had a feeling uh, okay yeah or I could do a 2d mix oh, hey what the Ooh, but now I need to go here okay so for you uh, and then I usually have it like this so when I'm live streaming I usually have that right the preview window here and the thing this is how you measure the lag watch at Occupy Toronto 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 6 1000 7 1000 8 1000 9 1000 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000. Did I miss it? Because it's a little dark from here. Okay, I'm going to do a lag test again. If you look here, I'm going to snap my finger or go, oh, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3. Okay, two and a half second lag, actually. Again, I'm going to, so you can see it better. That's your live. This is what you're seeing. So you... Usually I would snap, but it's a little dark here, so I'll go one, one, one thousand, two, one, two and a half. So that's a normal lag. Uh, that's how I usually measure it. Um, and and this is odd man out always is there. Um, right now, it's switched to camera. That's what you're watching there. Uh, how does it look at UStream? Because we're live. What's the lag there? Okay. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 9 and a half. Second lag uh, with the Ustream app. I'm using a Galaxy S4. Right, um, <laughs> this must be weird for people following this live or just watching this on Ustream. Um, but that is uh, now okay. Here's a beautiful feature when you're live. Now, I've already titled it right. Okay, uh, that's enough for that. This is the 2D mix that you're seeing now. Uh, now I want to switch to uh, the archive of uh, live stream. What I just recorded. Now that was three weeks ago. Uh, why I couldn't play what I recorded uh, that was weird. Uh, but that's fine. Now you notice the quality. Now <clears throat> the screen tear. Now you notice resolution in live stream is a hoodoo voodoo formula. If you were shooting a Hollywood film, you'd be shooting at 4K resolution, 4,000 resolution, which is theoretically the highest resolution possible. Most of us live streamers stream at like 512K. Yeah, when you reach 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, uh, 4,000K, you just say 1, 2, 3, or 4K, right? Uh, so most of us are live streaming at about 500 resolution just because the higher you have the resolution the less people can watch you um, so what happens uh, so yeah if you're shooting at you know 1080p well that's your resolution for your camera it's really really simple right well in live stream it's a hoodoo voodoo physics formula uh, there's so many factors, the bit rate, the resolution of your camera, whether it's an app or software. I kid you not, if you're panning and, and uh, 
There's a lot of movement. You have a lot of screen tear. You know what screen tear is? Screen tear is when you have the cubes or a little streaky or it pauses because you pan too much and there's a lot of motion in front of the camera. Uh, you notice here because I'm using software and a webcam, there's not screen tear. It's pretty sharp, right? So you notice that last image with YouTube in terms of the app. There's a lot of screen tear. Plus, remember, I was live streaming at 16.9 aspect ratio, and it crunches it down to 4.3, like your old TV. Um, here, why it's the best app. I'm going to play back. I'm going to mute my audio, and I'm going to play back uh, just a little bit of what I recorded. Uh, you weren't able to see it live, but now you could see it, okay? So here we go. This is what I just recorded with the Ustream app. And look at how sharp it is. It's 16.9. And look at the screen tear isn't, uh, it's far superior. Lag, and I should have counted that. Uh, actually, uh, there is a, a counter on, the, on this, and I will read it out when this image. But there's about a 30 second lag with this. Uh, there's a lot of buffering, there's a lot of everything. Um, so it'll notify followers. I will read it out when this image. There's about a 30 second lag with this. Uh, there's a lot of buffering. There's a lot of everything. Um, so that was just the echo. It's still buffering in. It's still buffering in. Uh, I've just muted it. I'm waiting for the image to appear. Uh, and again, if you're watching this at newlivestream.com in the archives, it's uh, still buffering in. Uh, maybe do I have to refresh the page? Now, actually, uh, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to go back for a sec. Oh. Okay, why is it not? Uh, we are live. I know we are live. We've been live for 1.42. Uh, why it's not showing up is a weird one because certainly there's the YAR here. Uh, and certainly the laptop, which I'm live streaming from, has a different signal. Uh, I'm using the data on my phone, so it's the same thing as I titled it. Uh, it should be live. And about here will be the live chat and the image will be just above here. I've refreshed the page. Um, now that is weird because see it says live now. Uh, maybe others uh, right there. Uh, I'm going to go to the events page here. It is at the events page. Uh, I was trying to refresh. Yeah, this yeah, this is weird that it's not. Uh, this should not be happening, folks. I should have an image. I'm sure if you go to that, uh, it'll be fine. Um, this should not be happening. Uh, I know that we're live now, and I know the volume. I've checked the volume again. There is no Zoom function on this Android uh, app, but, okay, well, that that's fine. Uh, so what I will do is I'll just go to camera and leave it at that. Uh, now, there's some beautiful things with this. I love this diagnostic tool here uh, beside the go live, which is strategically placed. We've been live uh for two minutes there's the uh, kilobits per second and notice there's an arrow going up and it shows the number of viewers beside it so this is nice I really like the that here it has the head and shoulder here and the number of viewers and that they has the kilobits per second and the time and, and if I press that that's how you stop right there's a few other things there's the chat and a few 
Okay, uh, I'm going to mute this, and I'm going to point out the screen tear. There. Oops. Uh, those are just phone functions. Okay, so I'm going to play it and point out the screen tear. First of all, this is way, way sharper than um, than the Ustream app. You notice when whenever you, there's camera movement, there's a little bit of screen tear and cubing, but it levels out really quick. It's, it's a lot more powerful, this app. Uh, certainly the best, uh, but it, but you, you got to be careful like panning too quickly. But then again, I'm doing two things here. Uh, I should have pressed, tapped on the screen where the W or the E is just to uh, refocus. That's my uh, Logitech C525 camera, and I just turned on the light. Uh, see, I love this. There's the mic there. Um, and stuff yeah when you're uh, see the screen tear screen tear okay but it's a lot sharper see resolution even the amount of light so you notice when I'm panning there's screen tear uh, and stuff um, because there's a lot of light there's a lot more sharper so exposure affects the resolution it's unheard of in live stream um, that pan and tilt and motion in front of the camera and lighting affect resolution. Like I said, resolution is a hoodoo hoodoo uh, formula. Um, and then we're here at Gopit Lodge in beautiful downtown El Sabuktug. And uh, certainly this show is for the diehards, the ones that really want to learn. And, and again, there's a lot more to live streaming. But I'm giving you a crash course to see if you're deciding what's what and you don't know what's what this is certainly the one to show and we're gonna go to bamboozer uh, shortly and then we're gonna end with YouTube right uh, live streaming from YouTube app uh, I'd say overall if you had to make a decision with all things considered with channel settings and the fact that you want your audience to go to one channel even though it's not as good an app uh, I'd say Ustream, you know. Uh, I know I had a talk with Charlie Grafsky who wanted to uh, start live streaming and we had this discussion and uh, he decided to go with Ustream just because it's a single channel and yes, the app isn't as good, but he's got an iPhone, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, he did a test. Uh, but notice, okay, the bit of screen tear, it's sharp, right? Bit of movement, and it's sort of screen, but it snaps back. This is powerful shit. Look, it, screen tear, a little cubing, but it snaps, boom. Oh, a little movement, boom, bow, bing, and it, it's sharp. Look at how sharp that is, right? And again, I'm using a Galaxy S4 as well, right? The device that you use is very important, like which type of Android? Like I love, it's sharp, it's amazing, okay? Now this is what the Android, I wanna just do a quick, uh, okay, let me find, uh, look at that. Now the lighting makes it sharper, but anytime you move it, um, <laughs> I, I, man, trying to just watch this one single one at a uh, live stream. Without the context of this show, so that was episode 85 that I was doing that test because uh, I was focusing on purely the app for Ustream and all the channel settings. So if you've said, yep, share, uh, I'm going to go uh, with uh, Ustream with well, the channel settings, that episode is really, really uh, exhaustive in that. Look at how sharp. And it's a screen tear, screen tear, screen tear because of movement. Okay, that's... Yeah, I think uh, on the iPhones, they have more macro, right? Uh, okay, look at how sharp. Look at that. That is fucking sharp, man. Uh, you know, but then again, it's a free account. I can't say this enough. Being an anarchist archivist, probably more than anything in my life. Practice archival practices. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, uh, while this is happening, I'm going to quickly go uh, Charlie 
Rapsky you stream. I want to make sure that I muted this audio. Yep. Oh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Charlie ski Ustream channel. Uh, yep. Okay. Now, this is Charlie's. just just started it so the only thing he has is now he's got an iPhone um, so I'm gonna play uh, okay which one uh, yeah I'll play this one and hold on here let me pause it get the volume up now He was using the ice stream, but okay, so it goes to four three. Yeah, I'm using Opera. I've been having problems with Firefox, which is my favorite browser, and I hate Chrome. Okay, so let's play Charlie's test. And notice just just touching upon when I'll do a show strictly on all the apps for the iPhones. This is the Android app. Sorry, this is the iPhone app for Ustream. Okay, I'm going to just play. Charlie's recording this from Florida while he's just mirroring. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, uh, we were Skyped in. This is uh, last week's show. Uh, yep, this was recorded on October 12th for the archives. Say what's coming on, and then I'll save that, and, and I'll broadcast it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we'll have what? 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 what here we. Well, we're gonna do one. You, you, you're gonna say. You're gonna say what's coming on at at, at ten. Say, say. Tell people to watch your channel now. <laughs> at ten. What? What's coming on, D? Now it's on you again. So he had muted the laptop audio. Uh, it's not the audio on the app, but look at how far sharper the uh, Ustream iPhone app. Yeah, the only way to get 16.9 on Ustream is that you, you upgrade to a paid account. But look at all. The iPhone is much sharper. Certainly the iPhone app on Ustream is far sharper than the Android app as well. Uh, so as much as possible, I, I, I highly recommend if you're using a cell phone to really go with an iPhone. Okay, and that's that. Uh, that's enough of that. Uh, okay. Uh, back to playing what I just recorded on live stream, new live stream, uh, and I'll just talk over this, uh, yar, yeah, a lot of, it is, on my end, just for what it's worth at this point, that it's, it's, it's very technically comp. Uh, complex, but after 4,800 streams, it's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so this is the iStream app. If I was using it, an, uh, but it, it at least 16.9, right? So, which is something. Um, uh, 
Any questions? The live chat seems to be uh, overwhelmed and very uh, here at Occupied Toronto. It's uh, a slow live chat night. It sometimes happens. Well, when it's a the uh, a lot of imparting a lot of information, it's like whoa. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was doing this during that just to show you. There's not screen tear here. This is a laptop. This is one a webcam. So this is a 2D mix. This is a 3D mix. And I'm just gonna switch to camera. Okay. Now notice how sharp this is. Screen tear? Or what's that? What's what's screen tear? Like I could be moving. Woo. There's not a lot of screen tear because this is the power of a laptop and software versus a power of uh, Alice doesn't live here anymore. But see, look at that, right? Not screen tear. Um, it's very important. So if you're still watching, we're at two hours and 55 minutes. You know you want to live stream. Uh, and you, you and uh, <laughs> Winston. A jolly good show, old chap. Oh, how is that for a fake British accent? Hello, Canada, it's the Queen calling. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, okay, now, so that is that for the live stream app. Both live stream is called for Android, it's called Purdue. Uh, well, Android or iPhone. It's called uh, uh, Producer. Producer's app. Uh, I use stream. It's called Producer's app. Uh, live stream. It's called Producer's app. For the software equivalent, because you could broadcast to your own channel with a laptop or desktop. Uh, it's also the software. And it's all free, of course. And the software is uh, um, also called at Ustream and you livestream.com producers software free downloads from uh, and of course when you download them download them only from Ustream or new livestream.com uh, and stuff so now uh, we are going to go to oh Okay, uh, but a but okay, where did that go? Uh, bamboozer, okay, um, don't do do. Uh, I had it here. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, by, by the way, uh, Varushka Franceschi. Fully funded her Kickstarter. We had an interview with her on uh, Wednesday. Fully funded her project she was trying to raise on Kickstarter. 25000 She raised 32938 so 33000 uh, She had a little bit of a troll problem earlier. Uh, she had reached 25000 That's seven hours to go. Uh, but then uh, enough of the trolls pulled their money out. And she was below the twenty-five thousand. And if you don't know Kickstarter, if you don't raise the amount that you want, you don't get nothing. Versus India Gogo, if you're trying to raise twenty-five thousand and you raise twenty thousand, you still get it. But now with Kickstarter, if you're trying to raise twenty-five thousand and you get twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, you don't get it. And the trolls were actually doing it because it's a fracking uh, narrative film. So she's fully funded. I just that plug for. Uh, uh, Barushka Franceschi for her new film, 
uh, a crack in everything, which she's uh, raising funds to shoot and edit it. And she aims to uh, world premiere it at Sundance in 2000, January 2016, because the deadline is September 2015. And this is October, well, now we're October 20th. Uh, okay, so that is that. Um, so, ah, oh, there we go. Um, so, uh, what we have here is now Bamboozer. Um, uh, this is, uh, my Bamboozer D. Shanger account, which I'm, this is the first time I'm actually live streaming for the archives, uh, from here. So that's my channel there. And of course, with Ustream and Livestream and Bamboozer, you can follow people or on YouTube, you can subscribe to their channel, right? Um, so uh, certainly click follow if you have an account. Of course, you have to be logged in to follow someone. So that's my Bamboozer account. And uh, let me uh, show you. Um, let's go to this actually. And uh, so when you go to it, I'm going to rudimentary. There's, I, I like the channel settings here. Um, you again, you could go live with the Bamboozer software or this show. We're doing the premium, so it shows stuff like uh, you know, broadcasts, right? I've done none, I got two followers, I'm following 14 people, and really zero likes. No, I have more likes than that, but uh, uh, really, that's weird. Uh, I refreshed it. Yeah, zero likes. I know I liked a lot of stuff. So this is stuff I was uh, occupied London. So the people that I'm following, when they're live, it shows up here on my home page. So when you give the feed again, just just like uh, UStream and the original live stream uh, accounts, you go to a single channel like D Shanger, like what I uh, at Bamboozer. And if you're watching this in the archive, it's Bamboozer. B A M B user U S U R U S E R bamboozer dot com forward slash channel forward slash D Shanger. Uh, if you're watching this in the archives, um, and uh, I, I guess just for the archives, that uh, uh, this is a hard one. Uh, okay, so my new livestream dot com account is new dot live stream dot com accounts and that's the number one six nine eight nine four oh like who could ever remember that if in the reality whoa what were you live streaming from at least I could say you know just Google Occupy Toronto live stream and boom that you get to it yeah I'm live streaming at uh New live stream, the account now is uh, 1698940, and they're like, huh, what, where? Okay, well, that's that. That's just that, okay? So, um, so this is Bamboozer, and it's the Shanger. There, okay. So, uh, um, in terms of the channel, you go, okay, so you're logged in, um, and uh, you can get the premium, so total views, zero, because I haven't broadcast from here, I've just had it for a while, you can go live from your webcam from here, uh, uh, it's really, really simple, uh, so you click on your account right you you could set your icon mine is always this frame from moth light by stan brackage 1963 it's one of two films ever made both by stan brackage without the use of a camera uh, by the way so you can go to channel right which we're on actually but just to show you uh you can go to help log out or settings i want to quickly 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 go through channel settings which are very uh, 
and this of course is a free account um, do do you have an untold story to tell the world bamboozer for mobile notify your Twitter friends okay profile picture upload a photo so okay so profile picture click show browse your laptop upload boom now you can't crop it it just automatically defaults to that okay so hide uh, description tell you know I'm a anarchist archivist the mad scientist of the live stream world live stream theorists and live stream director 4800 plus streams at Occupy Toronto doc filmmaker of over 900 films photographer yar at D Shanger uh, and the official live stream channel uh, livestream.com forward slash October uh, Occupy Toronto since October 15th okay so you do that now of all the channels you stream you can only connect to uh, Facebook Twitter and your YouTube channel with you stream um, with livestream.com you can connect to Twitter and Facebook only uh, there's some love loss between uh, YouTube and uh, live stream now look at this look at all the places you could connect at uh, at uh, bamboozer so you can connect to Facebook connect to Tumblr eBlogger Twitter Reddit flat R I don't even I've never heard of flat R for space Yammer I've heard of right but this this and this tumblr owns Instagram uh, and stuff so uh, in terms of connect that's pretty good and it's pretty self explanatory you click on that uh, if you're not logged into Facebook you can log in through here tumblr is the same thing you click on it follow the instructions it's simple enough uh, Twitter is the same way it's easier if when you do this you already have Facebook open in another tab tumblr in another tab Twitter in another tab um, okay so that's connect right then there's hide that um, there's embed your player right expose integrated optimized for widescreen uh, Embed player size. This is at the. Uh, why do they got the numbers reversed? 320. See here. Um, embedded player size. Okay, that's 69, but somehow they got the numbers reversed. It's usually this number. I mean. This is less than 69. Uh, let me click. Let me click. Uh, what does this say? Oh, for integrated uh, player size is 320. Okay, that's 43. Optimized for widescreen. Okay. Uh, wow. That is weird. Uh, you have to get out the calculator here. Okay, so if this was exposed, optimized for widescreen. Okay. Uh, I'll leave it at the default. 600 pixels, that's stretching it. Uh, okay um yeah that's weird that they got it reversed okay uh, again um uh, i mean i know the app and everything and i know these channel settings but that one's a weird one there's the embed code 
uh, customize your play. Okay, that's the embed code. Okay, okay, that. Okay, plus read more. Right, you can click on that. Uh, okay, the the yep, but but uh, okay. So now, uh, customize your player. Here's the the the, the thing. Uh, let me uh, put this here a little bit more. Okay, so. Uh, change the appearance of your bamboos or video player. Okay, that that was the embed code. No wonder it's really weird. Oh, I know why it's 320 by 6 because of the live chat. That's right. That's right. Uh, okay, so enable and disable features. This is enabled. That is disabled. Uh, of course, chat room. Show chat in in video player on the broadcast page. Well, it's beside the video player. Yes. Require login to post in chat. So, yes, always require people to log in to chat uh, on either their Bamboozer or Facebook account. Now, the reason for that is it keeps your troll problems at bay because uh, then you can't ban people if you don't have this clicked. So, you should. Enable public tagging of your broadcast, of course, yes. Uh, broadcast overlays, uh, show broadcast information overlays placed at the top and bottom of the player. Yeah, if you want to, uh, right? Uh, if you, and that's a, this is a premium feature, I guess, if you want to do that, so that's upgrade. Statistics, show broadcast statistics, says the number of viewers and, and uh, views and viewers, of course. Facebook like button, of course. Archived content, show archive video player on the broadcast, of course. Account. I mean, you could you could disable this, right? If you, but oh, you can only disable it if it's a. Uh, this is a premium feature. Uh, I wouldn't want to disable it, anyways. The map, show map of where you broadcast. Yeah, this is a weird thing about. Uh, Bamboozer, when you're live streaming, it shows you where on the map. Uh, Yahoo bought Tumblr. Ah, that's right. Oh, shit. That's right, Winston. Thank you for that. I love this interactivity. Thank you. That's right. No, Facebook Zuckerberg bought Instagram for $1 billion. That's right. And Yahoo bought Tumblr. It used to be Tumblr owned Instagram or created Instagram. Uh, I believe that's the genesis of it. Okay, yes. Thank, thank you for that. Uh, I love, and I do stand corrected. You know, uh, thank you for that, Winston. Um, yeah, the follow option on the video player. Yes, yeah, so allow people to follow you. I mean, I guess some people don't. Um, I, I think it's important. Uh, so that was. The section on customize your player. Um, then there's uh, email no notifications, right? Uh, yeah, there's there's some weird uh, stuff. Remember, this is Swedish owned. Right, uh, there's share news. Okay, th now this is a weird one, right? Uh, you can share, you can allow people to uh, get this. You can share your content with our partner news agencies. You can allow our media partners to contact you directly. If a video is newsworthy, our partners will often want to get more story details from you. Provide contact details below and it will make it easier for the journalist to get in touch uh, if they need to. Share the following information and you could put your Skype Addy in there, uh, your phone number uh, and stuff. And uh, I'm guessing it has a list and stuff, uh, locale settings, 
Right. Uh, your country, Canada, time zone, America, there's a million time zones. You know, Rio, you know, Santiago, Sao Paulo, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, you know, all kinds. Um, uh, change and manage your password and deactivate account. Uh, so that in a nutshell, uh, there's premium features. If, there's a whole host of stuff. Um, of course, unlimited storage, unlimited number of broadcasts, unlimited concurrent viewers. Broadcast live on Facebook. Whoa, that's new. Broadcast live on Facebook. Yeah, there is a Facebook app for your phone. Uh, I won't even get into it because uh, Facebook has a lot of people don't like Facebook. And I like to make it easier for our viewers. Add free, modify your player, hide the bamboozer logo, insert your own logo, extend the statistics, opt to unlist account. API access uh, associated press international stream from third-party applications like you know a wirecast and a whole host of others XSplit read more about it okay that just you know um, stuff um, so let's go back to channel Okay. Um, bom, 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 bom. Let us go to camera. Whoa. Okay, so here's the bamboozer app with the red, I'm uh, sorry, the green B. Right? So click it. Boom! No fucking around. This is Swedish. Remember, uh, Iceland is my uh, adopted homeland. Look at that. Boom. Right there. It's done. Right. Of course, you've synced it up ahead of time again. So you hit the back button. That. Oh, what? I, 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 quick, I snapped down pretty quick. That is certainly a 469 image. Okay. Um, I'm going to click on. Oh, there's an offline mode. There's my account. Okay, so here is you press this button, so I have to do it here, and you got offline mode, my account, create account, and about. So my account. Just being stubborn. Oh, it's being stubborn. Uh, okay, 
Uh, yes, uh, let me take some questions here for a sec. I just want to... Uh, bank, 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 bank. Uh, bit of it, a bit of it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so yes, so when you log in, they want your username, not your email. So yeah, bamboos is not an email thing. Okay. Okay, so you haven't broadcast anything yet. How astute of you. Yes, it is. Okay, so under the options, hello. There's the offline mode. That means I'm recording, but I'm not live, which. But, okay, under account, let's see the settings. Okay, well, let me go back. Um, under my account, okay live mode oh sorry did I accidentally change that yes okay no I want live mode okay under my account it goes to this which is what you're you're seeing there uh, recent activity tab no this is stuff I was watching and followers under settings, all it is, all you have in terms of settings is email settings, locale settings, change your password. So under email settings, yeah, when it's basically uh, um, It's just, you know, notifications and stuff. Under uh, local settings, all it has is the, the time zone thing, you know, Canada and uh, country in Canada, uh, you know, America slash Toronto. Hi. And then there's the change password. So in terms of defaulting into, uh, and then you hit the back button to get to this now. Notice, just like uh, live stream, it's got the time, the percentage, what kind of signal, set title, it's got questions. It's got the, uh, the okay. It's got the uh, certainly under the title settings. Uh, it's got more uh, more space and more characters you could have. Uh, there's the uh, search, 
there's the flash thing ah, there's further settings here right there's the uh, let's go through that it's got the, the clock okay aha this is amazing okay under settings it's got camera rear view look at that it's got video resolution and video quality and that's where you set it that's a eh, that's a little stretching it okay so I'm gonna go through camera settings rear camera which is you or front or off I guess now Do they mean no. okay? Uh, video resolution. So these are the options you have for video resolution. These are the default settings. So it's uh, it's four three aspect ratio. You could tell. Uh, yeah, so 176 by 144, 320 by 240, that's too low. 320 is rock bottom. 640, I would more prefer 550, but that's fine. Uh, so I, I like it at the default settings, right? So that's fine. Uh, video quality. Okay, so video quality, you got better flow normal more detail i i actually love these default settings uh better flow more detail i always want more detail cancel uh now the only thing is the rear camera but it, i i know what they mean the front camera is this is the front camera and this is the rear camera this it's european they got things backwards i guess i do I, i'm teasing yeah so and then to get out of that you just hit the back button and you're back to this so again settings you know under the uh clog there right uh okay now, Bamboozer has an interesting save thing. Um, this is the... It's got this sort of cloud with an arrow. Remember I was telling you the example before, uh, say with Procaster, where, which is the live stream software that I'm using to broadcast this, uh, where you have two saves. This is a beautiful feature on Bamboozer. It's got two saves uh, on what I'm using now. I'm using the Procaster and stuff where it has the local master save and it's got what's on the server. And remember, uh, <laughs> hey dude, can you even see anything I'm writing here? Yes, uh, Wojo2. Two nine. Um, so uh, yes, I can. <laughs> okay. So and and the example is is if you lose your signal three times, one two three, you actually have four players, three four on uh, the earlier example I gave uh, on the server but there's a minute lost uh so that's 59 minutes worth so you've lost a minute now if you press this button above the record button with the cloud and the arrow this you do after look at this beautiful this is unique to bamboozer now three years ago 
when Occupy started, laptops were really the only way to go. It was far superior, and most, I would say, 80%, 90% of all Occupy live streams, and there was about 500, 600, we're all using live stream because it's the best. And, uh, and, uh, Others were using uh, Ustream, but Livestream was far superior. Uh, that the only the Bamboozer started as you could only Livestream from a cell phone. So, and it was rudimentary quality. It was far superior if you're Livestreaming from Europe. It was really strange. It's Swedish owned, right? Uh, but uh, an example I just gave you, uh, and, if, and with the, the problem with the cell apps is there's only one save on your server so if your signal goes down that's forever lost in the digital dust not with bamboozer now bamboozer you can also uh, live stream from your laptop as well that's a recent development in the last mm, year year and a half or maybe a little longer uh, and uh, so say with bamboozer there's because you're always recording that it's a weird double save. It's a weird double save, but it really saves your ass enough times. So say you lost a signal. In my example I gave you, you're recording with your cell phone and your uh, the signal breaks up three times. It's an hour long stream. And uh, because you were down in the digital dust, you lost a minute. Well, when you see this, no unsent data files found now because I haven't live streamed from Bamboozer before. So the stuff the three times in my example that you were down, right? Uh, that's what's called on Bamboozer unsent data. So when you get home or on the way home uh, or after you've stopped recording, you 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 click you click that button. And you'll see all the unsent data. So in my example, you'd have three files of unsent data. Uh, since I don't have any, you can't. And then you just follow the instructions and send that unsent data because it's also recording that unsent data on your phone. It's a weird form of a double save. So what it's doing, it then does its own hoodoo voodoo thing. And compiles it and does the buffering and does all this and uh, I guess depending on the length of what you're doing uh, boom it cleans it up one file and it's uh, back to one hour and stuff uh, oh Wojo you realize that FEMA and Fireb in the US are doing a round up and throwing everyone in FEMA camp. Uh, yes, we got the memo back in 2004 there, uh, says Winston. Uh, if you think the 90, 90 percenters in the U.S. are actually saying anything, the whoa, trollorama.com. We got a troll. Woo. Shh. Yes. Okay. Remember, dictionary definition of trolls, they love to stop discussion or steer it into nothingness. Okay. So, uh, back to the real thing. If you're watching this in the archives, it's, we've got a troll on the live chat. But we know. Okay. So, that is that in terms of uh, blank. Okay. So, under set title, I'm going to click set title. I've already done this ahead of time, right? And you got a lot more space. Testing the Bamboozer app for Android, Galaxy S4. Okay, and I hit OK. It's titled the search, the microfine glass. Um, there is a zoom function, folks. Again, I'm going to go back. See where it has this, remember, this is the, they've been at this cell game app longest. This is the one with the, the plus. Oops. Back. At least with this, you hit the back button and you go back. Uh, so I'm going to click that. So that's how you zoom. Right? 
he just well I can't zoom because I'm not live um, and then close and it's got the forward camera and so they call this the rear camera this is the rear camera they call it that's what it defaults to and this what you're looking if you were to live streamer is known as the front so that is that now for my first ever bamboozer bamboozer woozer uh, um, ever broadcast being an anarchist archivist Yar. Ah, actually, you know what? Uh, we'll leave the troll alone for now. Don't feed the trolls. Uh, if they uh, guess racist or sexist, uh, we ban their ass. I'll show you how to ban and why, with this original counts, why it's uh, really good. Onward and forward. Okay, so now all that explained. I am going to go live. Point public recording to file. Now, um, bon, 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 bon. clicking on feed here at Bamboozer. Uh, yes. Now, I want to be able to share now I'm gonna try the zoom here whoa it's just a sliding thing look at that oh I love the zoom I'm a filmmaker Trollorama there that I was talking about. Well, so what you do with Zoom, look at this, folks, is you hit that and you just slide up. You sort of hold it down and you go, yeah, see that? That's how you zoom. Uh, and that, if you're watching this at Bamboozer, uh, this is uh, Shanger's How to Live Stream Show, episode 89. I'm broadcasting at livestream.com forward slash Occupy Toronto. And uh, hit close and, and this and that. Now, uh, yes. So we are. Ah. No, that is from the webcam. Now, uh, go to the channel. Last active 16 minutes ago. And total views. ER. Okay. Uh, now, I love this quality here and ER
Hmm. Okay. So I'm not for some reason. Um, this is my first broadcast. I'm not seeing the feed at. For example, this is earlier today from. Um, it should appear like that. Now, why? Don't you dare wait for the don't you dare! 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 Kilo Golf one nine seven, Kilo Golf one zero six, Kilo Golf eight five two, Heritage Warden Hotel two five. I could not take my daughter home tonight. They confiscated the Heritage Warden Hotel Two Two. My clothes, my medication, my money. We were going back to Wales tonight, but these bastards illegally confiscated my stuff. Do not have a read of this leaflet. Fuck your leaflet. Okay. Where, where's the leaflet? Whoa! Is that? Oh yes, there's a letter now. Let's look at that. So in the middle of all that, um, I okay. So that was occupied London, our sister station. Okay, while I, I hit stop, and under unsent data, this appeared. Okay, now I think because there's no broadcast, I that's why there was no player uh, and stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna click on that. Okay. Again, under un. Let me just go back. So I press stop, and under unsent data, there's a one, right? So I click on that, and it's what I titled "Testing the Bamboo's Wrap for Android: A Semicolon uh, Galaxy S4." It is. Uh, Five minutes and twelve seconds, eighty-three point twenty megabytes. Ooh, that's ooh, that's a lot. Oh, well, again, we're broadcasting at six forty p. So then I I just click on that. And I'll show you the options. Upload, delete, set title, set username, set as private. I want to upload. I'm uploading and it's connecting and uploading and kilobits per second kilobytes that's pretty good uploading three minutes and 51 seconds okay so it's doing stuff uh, and once it does stuff, it, it's good. When you go live, actually, one nice feature with Bamboozer, you might have heard when I clicked go live, you heard a little ding, which is a nice high pitched sound. Uh, so you actually know that you went live. Um, it's a beautiful feature. The other ones with Ustream and Bamboozer, it just, you just go and you look for the numbers rolling, and you're totally fine. Um, um, yeah. Okay, we ha oh no 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 no! I'm gonna show you something really really ah okay folks, you're in for a treat here. Okay, now watch this. Oh 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 okay. Now, uh, this is this is beautiful. Okay, now 
I've had enough of this troll. Now this is a beautiful and unexpected uh, okay so notice I've been saying enough nasty things uh, okay so notice here it says ban right this is how you ban people because I'm a mod right of course I'm not sure so I, now first of all when you click ban this is what happens. This is the best ban feature on the planet at the original live stream. So I'm going to kick, click ban, okay? Now I'm going to go to the top. Scroll up to the top here. Now you got to double check one thing when you're banning someone, right? This is very, very important. Especially if you have a live chat where it's going vroom, vroom, vroom. When you click ban, make sure first and foremost this that you're actually banning the person you want to ban right uh, now which it is right now <laughs> grant moderator privileges I don't think so okay now here's the beautiful beautiful and I'm glad it defaults a ban IP address right this is a, a, man trolls know to stay away from us uh, we haven't had a troll here in a while, man. This, oof, who sent you here? Uh, anyways, this is fun. Okay, so I'm glad it defaults a ban. So you can ban the live stream account, which you know what? You don't, right? This is the full blown. If you need to ban someone, this is what you need, okay? Now, I don't ever ban the account because then they could just re-log in and a lot say Ferguson there's a lot of uh, different things uh, I banned the IP address so this person with that computer can never ever 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 chat at Occupy Toronto they can watch it so there's four levels of bans we call this the penalty box right and then we got the 24-hour ban we got the two-week ban well it's obvious who this person is uh, so we're gonna ban them forever but there's one other thing right see here clear their messages never ever ever I personally it's not just the archivist in me but I've seen so many times with heavy heavy um, 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 uh, wolf pack of trolls that you waste time saying why'd you ban that person just say scroll up and that's it right so I don't clear that but that's just how we've evolved and then close and oh wow and Bob's your uncle who's your uncle there Bob so uh, Ebola has been banned by Bob's your uncle who is an Occupied Toronto live stream um, yar? So wow, there was this unexpected bonus of uh, yar. Okay, so that's that. Now let's we're gonna get back to bamboozer um, and stuff. Uh, okay, did you like that, Winston? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you like that, eh? <laughs> now, not all live stream channels have that multitude of banning. That is how you ban, folks. That, you know, with can you imagine that live stream new? This is live the original live stream dot com with the new dot live stream dot com account. You can either delete that single message. Why bother? Um, or ban that username only. With new.livestream.com, you cannot ban an IP address, which sucks. At Ustream, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Ustream is similar to this. Uh, I've never banned anyone on my Ustream account. It's all new since August 21st. I got the Ustream account. And I will test it. 
soon enough. Now, here's another thing. You can unban someone. I can unban that person if I want to, right? Because you know why that's a beautiful feature? Being able to unban someone that you ban even forever is an important feature. Because sometimes when the live chat is going vroom, 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 and you hit ban, check that the person you wanted to ban is who you actually banned. If all of a sudden it was like it's a crazy horde, hornet's nest of, of uh, you know, when you had, like the day we were evicted on uh, November 23rd, 2011, we, we had 80,000 viewers. We banned over 200 people. And the thing is, you might have accidentally banned someone. And you're like, oh, no, I didn't just ban Winston, did I? Oh, my God. So there's a way to unban. And the way, watch this. Oh, are you, okay. If you like that, Winston, look at this. Full blown. Why, it's the best, Winston. Okay, so notice all these functions here at the bottom of the live chat. This is to uh, log out. This is who's on. This is the time. Right, if we do this, it shows the time when the person posted. Right, this is this is actually uh, Atlantic time because I'm here in New Brunswick. Um, this is that now. Look, watch this now. If Wojo is still on, so this is banned users, right? This is you see who's the mods are on and who else is on, right? Uh, right, and uh, the D Shanger is is because I'm on Procaster. The mods are higher up, up here, right? Uh, band users. Now I'm not gonna do it to encourage them, right? So we have two. So the way to unban someone is you hit that X. If I was to hit that X right now, I would automatically unban uh, uh, Wojo. And here's another thing. If I had cleared, if I accidentally, because live chat was going boom, 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 someone, and I pressed clear all their messages, and I accidentally banned the wrong person, uh, that's another Minor but important reason why you never clear. Uh, I don't care how racist, sexist their comment is. It saves so much time. So that people, even people who are like, well, what? Why is that bad? And you look up, oh, okay, yeah, and whatever. Uh, trolls like to feed on the fact that you banned the troll. Uh, and they, 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 they really try and fish you out with, why did you ban that person? So you, you could take minutes and hours explaining why you banned. Uh, when all you got to say is just scroll up. And I went forward. So if I was to hit that, so that if I accidentally unbanned the wrong person, boom. So full blown, folks. This is the number one. Every single place should. Why the new livestream.com? The same company. Um, I, I don't get it. I really, uh, you know. Uh, I, I understand that, you know, we're still in our super, super pioneering days of uh, live stream. Yar! Uh, rise. Uh, and um, so that we just banned someone. We haven't banned someone in the fucking Coons age, Rise. Uh, Mojo Rising or something. <laughs> uh, anyways, that was fun. I was able to show people how to properly ban someone. Um, that's right, Winston. Another troll bites the dust, and I banned their IP address. So, so picture this, which is very common with major police actions say in Ferguson and elsewhere, where uh, police trolls are at their office in that police station or elsewhere. Uh, they're trolling like mad. So if you ban their username, well, they just create another. So the beauty is if you ban their IP address, that cops computer at their desk is frozen so they can no longer at that live stream channel only not throughout all of say Ustream or the original live stream ones but at that channel no they can't create another username from that IP address that's why you ban and here's another thing enough times when there's troll problems say a Ustream with the Ferguson live streamers 
Here's another way you could suss out if it's a police troll, right? Is you just show, I just showed you how to properly ban someone. When you have a major troll problem, I like to uh, put this following comment, not spamming, but every now and then when you have a lot of trolls, I, I would say, folks, don't feed the trolls. Rather, ban their arse by banning their IP address. I always insist on banning the IP address. And then you throw out the fish hook. And of course, some fucking, you know, highfalutin police troll says, no, you never ban their IP addresses. Ban their username. And it's like, hello, folks, you now know better, right? You ban their uh their uh their uh ip address and they come on and say no no never ban their ip address right click on this link right and it has some whatever don't ban their ip address that's a police troll don't ever click on that because you know better because you're just gonna um uh, upload a virus into your computer right and then you know for sure that that person is a police troll because anyone that tells you not to ban an IP address right because then it shuts out that cop and that cop will get into trouble and whatnot or whatever the fuck happens internally which I don't give a fuck just ban their IP address and here we go hot off the wire rise wow world premiere folks Dun, 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 Bob's your uncle drives trolls in a bus under a bridge. Livestream 2.0 is here. New. Whoa, you got a vanity uh, URL. Whoa. Vanity URL. Look at that, folks. Woohoo! Of course, I'm following. Yes. So, yeah, uh, Ferguson, Occupied Democracy. Oh, Umbrella Revolution. Whoa, Rise. What about the original one, Rise? Tokyo One from Syria. Yes, Tokyo One, beautiful. Mm. Morning in Syria or afternoon in Syria. Yes. So, okay, so the original, of course, Global Rev, the original. Yeah, of course, nothing changed. But with the new one, uh, but a bit of a ah, okay, with the new one. Okay, one more time, folks. The original, just like by Toronto, what you're watching. That's the new. That is the original. Nice. So live stream. So okay. So now uh, three. So three events pages. This is at the new. Now, and I'm gonna finish up on Bamboozer, and I will get to how to live stream to YouTube, the fourth and final app, Android app. So okay. So you got three events pages. Ooh, this is pretty high tech there, Rise. I'm I'm proud of you guys. Uh, Ferguson. So this is what Vlad was doing. So this is the archive. One, two, three, four, five, five from Ferguson. Okay, so this is London occupied democracy, which is going on now. Uh, one. Okay, so so this is what you were mirroring from uh, Bamboozer, Occupy Mayday, and Ob. 
OB, man, OB, what a workhorse of Occupy London Stock Exchange. And they're both at Bamboozer. They, they love Bamboozer in Europe. Okay, so and this is Umbrella Revolution. Now, are you still using XSplit? So this is live. Now, I, now, Rice, I was experiencing the same thing. I was trying to read. Like, I'm live. I was live on my, uh, showing the app. And for some reason, on my, because I'm using, uh, I'm going to type a YAR. GR version 2.0. The future is here, folks. Which means that I'll automatically be shared. There you go. Okay, and now Rise. Now here's the weird thing. Uh, okay, uh, let me get back to Rise. What Rise was saying on the live chat here. Uh, er, er, er. Uh, back it up here. Um, Yeah, uh, Bob is your uncle. There's Tokyo One, who's from uh, Syrian uh, Freedom, a live stream channel, our sister station in Syria uh, for three years now. Uh, thank you, uh, Syria, Tokyo One, for tuning in. Waves, uh, live stream.com, Global Revolution will mirror new li live stream a lot, but maybe other stuff as normal. Uh, yeah, we're going to organize by events now, 2.0. Yeah, new and improved archives work and the social media sharing works well. And we may ditch the chat entirely. People can still comment on media. Uh, my, my post didn't go through that I put in, uh, they arise. Uh, that's weird. But then again, I, I can't view that channel. Uh, it's saying disconnect, reconnecting, try now. Yeah, it, it's still buggy. I can't even view it. Uh, but well, I was trying to view my own channel while I was live streaming there, Rise. Uh, that's weird. Uh, Bamboozer crashes so much they should call it. No, 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 Bob, your uncle. Come on, Bamboozer is amazing. Uh, still talking about all that. Uh, don't ditch the chat. Uh, yes, uh, and there will uh, there will be a server cluster so people can mix. So will you be using XSplit? Can you use XSplit on their uh, rise and post media? We have media teams, bamboos or rocks. Actually, that's right. I agree. Uh, wish more people use it better than UStream. Uh, yeah, it, it may be mod only. Trolls will destroy every chat. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't let the rotten apples ruin it. We Half of what it is to live stream happens on the live chat. Without the live chat, I wouldn't even call it live stream. I would call it webcasting. Because half of what it is to live stream happens on the live chat. The other half happens on screen. Um, that's 2D mix. This is 3D mix. Oh, Howard! Oof! Uh, oh, Howard! Um, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that's right. Rise, that's the one big problem with new.livestream.com is unfortunately you can't have mods. Like, that is insane. Okay, I, I'm getting this little thing disconnect, reconnect, try now, connecting. Bandwidth issues. That's why I can't chat. It says disconnected, reconnect in 22 seconds. Try now. I hit try now. Okay, so there's something crazy going on. Uh, 
Yeah, mod only. Droids will destroy every chat. Yeah, the problem that you can't have mods, only the owner uh, can can be the mod. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the modding on new live stream sucks. Yeah, you missed the point. New live is attracting a lot of people. Yes, we will get new viewers. Yes, uh, instead of many of the same viewers who are already on the people's side, live stream uh, may do uh, ignore. Plus, a few trolls live stream may do ignore. If they do ignore, then uh, chat will be okay. Hopefully, that's the solution they come up with. Well. Why livestream.com new that livestream.com or new livestream? You know, I the last time I checked, there was at least six eight months ago where you could have mods, maybe a little longer than that. But uh, you know, uh, this really really uh, sucks that only the owner can have a uh, thing. So I I can't even watch that uh, rise. I'm having it, it's just an overall issue. It's not. GR, right there. It's just I couldn't connect to my own channel and view what I was live streaming live. I can watch the archives. I typed in the chat and uh, nothing came up. Uh, weird, 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 weird. Uh, I don't, yeah. Uh, well, the, the original chat. At these original ones, to me, is still the best layout chat ever. Uh, in a lot of ways, live stream, you know, outdid itself. But in a lot of ways, it's regressed. To get rid of some of the stellar stuff that was at these original ones, I don't like the live chat design. Actually, uh, it's a lot smaller, right? And when you have like so many. When you look at some of the live streams, uh, when Reb Z was on it, like it was going like this, and the fact that you could probably, as you said, uh, um, um, uh, write a book, because remember we counted it rise on these original ones that you're watching here, two hundred characters on, on any one post uh, versus one hundred and forty at uh, at uh, Twitter. Apparently, you were saying you can type of book in there but it's such a small space for this chat uh, you know like here like that's really really small uh, that's it there's just that little gap and if you were to write a book and and again if it's if you have a lot of people typing you can't even follow nothing you can't read there's just too much space the text is too small uh, look at the original ones uh, over here, uh, far superior, far superior, right? Way, way far superior. Now, in doing research, because I've never live streamed from YouTube, I hadn't used Google Hangout in uh, about 15 months, and I only used it because... I don't know, more wanted to do something with six people and Skype really sort of maxes out after uh, uh, three or four people. So we used Hangout because Google Hangout could use thing. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is with, with Google, uh, like I'm going to, we'll, we'll still talk on the chat. But what I'm going to do uh, is show you a bunch of videos. I've lined them up in order. Now, live stream. Now, the only reason I, I because it's a show on Android app, I was watching uh, Activist World News Now, and James, not James from the internet, another James, was live streaming from his cell phone in Hong Kong. And I'm like, Okay, I know how to live stream onto, directly onto YouTube. I don't like it. I prefer this. Uh, I'm all about the highest quality possible, right? And, and, and as I described in this show, right, ease of access for you. Rise, the biggest problem I found, even though it's 
yes, new uh, live stream is that there's not a single channel like you come here and boom, right? Is that if you do not have an account, if you're not logged in when you go to new.livestream.com account, you got to go through hurdles even just to watch it, right? The fact that they don't have a channel like this to make it easier for people, uh, if people are just lurking, meaning you just want to watch, and you're sort of new to live stream and maybe you're a little uncomfortable about going on the chat. We've all been there. Uh, certainly new.livestream.com is not a place to lurk because unless you you log in, you can't even watch it. That is a big minus. Um, anyways, so at uh, YouTube, uh, Yes, I know. I know, Rise. I, don't get me wrong. Livestream.com is the best. It is the pioneer. And criticism is necessary to move the struggle further. Livestream would not... Livestream world would not be as advanced if it was if it wasn't for Livestream more than any other entity. It revolutionized Livestream. But, you know, I've talked about it on this show. It's the best app sell app but there's a lot of problems the channel settings suck on the free accounts the channel settings at Ustream are far superior yeah, but the channel settings at the original account is the best right um, I know to reach new people I know rise rise I know I know I know if you upgrade to a paid account Yeah, they should add uh, remove login required for free. Yeah, uh, but on the new, you guys have a, a vanity URL, so you, you've upgraded to a paid account. So yeah, you can remove that login requirement, which is great, right? Uh, and, but then again, to remove the login requirement, you're going to have a more major troll problem because they don't need a username. Right, it, it's, uh, it's yeah. Uh, it's certainly if you are brand new coming to new livestream.com account, I must rate it dead last for uh, lurking. If you know nothing about live stream, it is hell. Right? Uh, no, no, don't ditch the chat. Don't ditch the chat. That's half of live stream. I well, experiment, rise. I'm, I'm just throwing my two cents, right? Just experiment. Uh, we we'll continue this discussion on the live chat. I want to move on to uh, um, UStream, and I'm gonna. Uh, it what does it justice is showing you uh, these videos, and I've lined them up in a specific order. How to live stream. It's a lot more complex to live stream from YouTube. Okay, this is the final app. But I accidentally today, you know, Rise, you know how I'm huge about a more interactive live chat. Like I, I would love for the viewers not only just to type in the live chat, but I would like to see their video and audio. You know, I want a more interactive live chat. Instead of getting rid of the live chat, I, I'm going the opposite. I accidentally discovered something, and I'll talk about it. Actually, live streaming from YouTube. This is really funny. Uh, Google Hangouts is so much a part of it. Wow. I haven't checked out Google Hangout in uh, since I did the I Don't Know More webinar series in May and June of 2013. Watch this. Watch this this folks this is how to live stream from YouTube with an app and it's called the app is called Google Hangout for Androids okay here we go in this video we're going to give you a brief overview of how to create your event starting from the video manager click on the live events link Near the top right, click on the New Live Event button to enter the event basic information. To best promote your video, insert the event's title and description. Be sure they are clear, specific, and relevant. I have to say something. Okay, in order for you to live stream 
from YouTube, you need three things. You need a YouTube channel, of course. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you also need Google Plus. If you have a Gmail account, you automatically have a Google Plus account. You might not know that. So you need a YouTube channel because that's where they're going to watch it from. You need Google Plus. And you get Google Hangout from Google Plus. Uh, and from the events page, just to preface this, I'm going to start over. From your YouTube channel, this is how you create the events page. Okay? In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of how to create your event. Starting from the Video Manager, click on the Live Events link. Near the top right, click on the New Live Event button to enter the event basic information. To best promote your video, insert the event's title and description. Be sure they are clear, specific, and relevant to the live event being scheduled. Don't forget to add relevant tags to help your users search for your event. Configure your event's start and approximate end time so users know when to watch your event. Don't worry, we won't stop your event if it goes over your scheduled time. We just want to get a better understanding of how long your event might last. In the private settings drop down menu, set your event to public if you are ready to have the event appear on your channel and on search results. If you're not ready to have the event viewable or are setting up a test event, make sure to select the unlisted or private setting in the drop down menu. Categorize correctly. People are more likely to rate your video highly and watch it more frequently if it is placed in a relevant category. Next to the Basic Info tab is the Advanced Settings tab. This is where you can allow or disallow comments and viewers' responses to your event. You can also enable embedding, which makes the event embeddable in other locations. In the second column, this is where you can enable and disable recording and DVR functionality. If you are planning on using YouTube's Live Ad Insertion tool, you must add a 30 or 60 second delay option in order to ensure YouTube can successfully insert ad cues into your event. To promote the live stream, use the in-video programming feature. This feature promotes the event across all of your channel's videos when the event is set to live and to public. Next to the Advanced Settings tab is the Monetization section. This is where you can enable usage policies and live content ID. Make sure you have all of the necessary rights to the content before enabling and setting the match policy in the drop-down menu. If you decide to monetize your live events, select Monetize in the Usage Policy and check the standard in-stream ads option. This will queue pre-roll before the viewer watches the event and when subsequent mid-roll ad queues are inserted. Once you've entered your basic information and configured your settings and options, don't forget to click on the blue Create Event button to save your settings. Once your event settings are saved, you can now move on to configure the ingestion settings. If you need more information on setting up your live streaming event, take a look at our Help Center documentation or review our YouTube live forum. Welcome to our first YouTube Live FAQ session. In this video, we will review some of the most frequently asked YouTube live streaming questions. After watching the video, please feel free to provide feedback below the player and we'll determine if additional videos are needed. For our first session, let's review the difference between YouTube Live and Google Hangouts on Air. We get this question often. In the YouTube Live interface, there are advanced options where you can create your own custom setup for your own preferred encoding settings, and you can also set up full redundancy. Please be sure that your outgoing bandwidth can handle a primary and backup stream at the resolution that you choose. Custom bit rates and resolutions are fully documented in our public-facing encoding spec. There are also monetization options where you can apply automatically inserted pre-roll and manually inserted mid-roll ads into your live stream. If you are going this option, please be sure to program your content with ad breaks and make sure that the content that is available during those ad breaks is also safe and that you have the rights to that footage. Custom thumbnails can be created for your event. You can also use your customized thumbnail to promote your event before it actually starts. We wanted to make you aware that the YouTube Live platform does not have the Google Plus branded watermark. From the YouTube interface, you can launch a Google Plus Hangout using a one-click solution. This automatically launches the Google Plus interface where you can start your event using a webcam. There are no encoders needed and you can dial in participants to have direct communication with up to nine people. There are also some Hangout effects that you can apply to the Hangout tool, including lower thirds, and the Google Plus watermark will also be branded within the content at all times. 
Monetization options for Hangouts on Air include automatically inserted pre-rolls. Please note these are available on desktop and mobile. When using the YouTube Live Encoding spec, be sure that your outgoing bandwidth can handle the primary and backup encoder at the resolution that you've selected. If you're not sure how to do this, you can use speedtest.net, which is a free service that allows you to test your outgoing bandwidth and determine what it is. Once you have an upload speed, choose one of the most appropriate encoding specs that would allow you to safely run a primary and backup encoder. A good formula to use is primary plus backup plus 20% overhead. The benefit to setting up redundancy with a primary and backup encoder is carried over to the YouTube interface. We'll send that to two separate YouTube data centers and carry the redundancy down to the end user. The best way to prepare for your live stream is to clear the content well ahead of time. If you don't own the content outright, be sure to retain the rights and clearances from the content owner. Please note this applies to all content, including background music. In some cases, you can request that the digital team whitelist your channel in their YouTube content owner account. This will acknowledge your rights in the YouTube system. When the event is live, be sure to monitor the stream closely in the live control room. If there is any infringing content, a warning message will appear above the fold. Note, if any warning messages are not addressed, it may result in a stream takedown. Again, the best way to avoid this is to stream content you own fully or clear the rights well ahead of your live event. Pre-roll and mid-roll ads can be served on live events. Ads are delivered from the available ad inventory. Mid-roll ads are manually inserted in the live control room interface. So if your live event is long form, you may consider serving mid-roll ads. You'll need to clean the video and enable monetization. Remember, monetization of live events is highly dependent on the number of people you drive to the event. Since the lifespan of a live event is limited, it's crucial to promote it beforehand and drive the audience. Remember, post-live, you can also monetize the recording. That concludes our first FAQ session. Again, please remember to comment below if you have any additional questions or would like to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching. Now, listen to this kid. This kid is absolutely, this is a channel called Thought Point. This is Ben Blum. This guy is a genius, man. Uh, I love this guy's stuff. We're going to show you two videos from him. Uh, you want an interactive live chat there, uh, Rise? Watch this. Look at what the new Hangouts. This is more my style. Uh, but I'll talk further after this. This Hangouts is what the app is for Android and iPhones as well. Uh, I believe he's using an iPhone in this. Hey YouTube, Ben here. Today we're going to be showing you how to stream live YouTube content from your iPhone or other smartphone device to the YouTube platform. So let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to want to download and install the app Google Hangouts on your iPhone or Android. All you have to do to install that on the iPhone at least is just search up Google Hangouts and install it. Okay, so once it's installed, uh, just open it up and then you're going to want to log in to the YouTube account that you will be using to upload it to YouTube. So let me just type this in. Okay, so once you signed in, you can just put this aside for the moment and go over onto your computer, open up your browser, and then type in plus.google.com. Okay, so it will direct you to this page, and what you have to do is sign with the same email that you used to uh, sign into the Google Plus Hangouts on your iPhone. So the same exact email. Then all you're going to have to do is click on home up here, click on home, and then hangouts on air, and then, 
And once that's loaded, just click on start a hangout on air right up there. Now, while we get it, while we wait for this to load, you're going to want to hop back onto your iPhone or smartphone and then click up here, click on this next arrow, and then say skip this step. From there, you're going to see this uh, ongoing video call button. Don't press that yet. Before you do that, go over back onto your computer and then set up your Hangout on Air. So all you have to do is name it. Well, let's just name it Test. And then since we're using the same account, you don't have to do any of this. All you have to do now is click Start Hangout on Air. And then it should be working. So from here, go back on your iPhone, click on Ongoing Video Call. And then click on this thing right up here. Okay, then it should be working. Uh, it might take a little while to load up on your computer, but once it has loaded completely, go back on your computer and then click on the cameraman button right over here. Wait for it to load. And then make it, make sure that this button right here, this yes, no one in the middle, is checked on yes. From there, all you have to do is click on the iPhone icon, click on the iPhone video feed, and then mute your video from here and your audio so all your viewers see is just the iPhone feed. Uh, when you're ready, you can start your broadcast up here, so it'll be streamed live to YouTube. So let's go ahead and click on that. Click OK. OK, let's go ahead and uh, make sure it's posting, so let's go over to YouTube. Enter your channel, the channel that you uh, signed on with. Here we go. Uh, you can see it right now. To view it, obviously you click it. It's really lag. It's really laggy, and since we're using an iPhone, the quality is not that great. Of course, it's completely controlled by your iPhone, and this is exactly what your viewers will see. If you want to end the broadcast, all you have to do is go back on to the, cons the central control on your computer and just simply end broadcast. Once you click end, it will take the video and upload it to your YouTube channel also so you can so your viewers can see it see the live uh, broadcast anytime. Now back on your iPhone you can just click this red button right up here to end the call. And it should take it might take a few minutes and then there we go. So that wraps it up for this video. If you like the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe down below. And see you guys later. Well, hey, it's Robbo here. And a lot of you have seen a lot of these marketing bigwigs doing what are called these video live streams, where they broadcast live in order to promote an event, a product, during a product launch. But there is a way that you can now broadcast live all around the world, uh, even on YouTube, and it won't cost you a dime. So I want to walk you through very quickly how to do that. And there are a million ways you can apply it. It's very exciting. And uh, there are a couple things you do need. So the first thing you need is a Google account. Now, if you have a Gmail account, you already have a Google account. If you have a YouTube account, you already have a Google account. Uh, if you don't and you need a Google account, just go to the URL on this screen and sign up for your Google account. Now, when you do, you're also going to get access to something called Google Plus, which is it's like Google's Facebook. It's like their social network. So uh, after you sign up for your Google account, you're going to come over to google.com forward slash plus. And as long as you're logged into your Google account, here we are uh, at my Google Plus homepage. Now if you come up here to the upper right hand side, it says start a hangout. And that's exactly what we want to do. Click on start a hangout. The hangout window pops open. It loads. And here are all my kind of Google Plus pals, and you can actually see me right here, down below, in a little monitor of how I'm actually going to look once the Hangout starts. So, first thing you do is you want to add the names uh, of people that you 
want to join the Hangout with. Now, I'm going to add Tracy Lawton because I actually told her I'm going to add her. But a lot of times, another reason how you can add a person is if, as long as they're in a, as a friend of yours on Google Plus, you can add them and then you can interview them, and they can actually join the conversation as the person you're interviewing. It's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is name this Hangout. I'm going to call it Rob's Big Test Broadcast. Um, click on this little thing that says Enable Hangouts on the Air, and it says Hangouts on the Air will you, your, use your YouTube channel. So the one thing you also want to do after you set up your YouTube account or your Google account is go up and use that same login information for your Google account to set up a YouTube channel. If you want to broadcast on YouTube, you got to have a YouTube account. So you click OK, got it. And next step is click Hangout. Now, when you click Hangout, what you're going to end up with is this uh, box. And what that is, it just explains the terms and condition of you using this, just like any other service, free service like Facebook that you've ever signed up for. So you click uh, Approve. And here you are, you've taken directly to uh, your Google Hangout. Now relax, you're not on the air yet. So um, you can look at yourself, you can make sure you're pretty and do your hair and adjust your lighting. Um, and then you're really ready to go. Also what you can do is you can wait. Remember I told you you can invite your, um, you can invite people to join your Hangout. And this is especially good if you're interviewing people um, or you're having like a panel discussion. Again, there are a million ways you can use this. And they actually, when they join the discussion, they appear right down here below next to the, the little thumbnail of where you are. So um, there's also quite a few little options that you can use. There's actually a uh, chat functionality. So I can come up here and say, hey, how is everyone? And it shows up here, and the people who join the, the chat can actually chat with you. Uh, there's a little screen share feature where uh, you can actually share any currently open window on your computer screen. Um, so you can show documents, you can show photos um, through the screen share feature. Uh, this cameraman feature right here allows you to control the visibility of other participants. Uh, people who join your Hangout and are appearing down below, if they want to speak, you want to make sure they're featured in this big video window. Uh, Google Drive allows you to access any documents, word processing documents, slideshows that are actually in your Google Drive. Google Drive is, is, a, is a free application that you get when you sign up for a Google account. It has word processing, it has presentation software, so you can add those to your presentation. And these Google effects, they add funny little glasses and mustaches. I don't think you'd really be interested in using that. Um, so the next step is to actually broadcast. So a couple things I want to show you on that is right up here, there's this little embed link. So if we click on embed, this is an actual link right here on YouTube, where once I go live, I'll actually be broadcasting live on YouTube. How's that? And also right here is some HTML embed code. So let's say I have a launch page or um, a page on my website or in a blog that I want this video to stream through. That is where this uh, can actually use this embed code and it'll actually show up on a web page. So that's pretty cool. When you're ready to start the broadcast, just click Start Broadcast. And it'll tell you, yes, you're broadcasting publicly, so just a little. And then up here on the right, there's a little button that counts you down. Six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And ta-da, you are live. And here we are back on Google Plus after we do our presentation or interview or whatever we're doing. We click on End Broadcast. And broadcast has been successfully terminated. So, um, and you're done. And there's a recording of your broadcast, number one, in Google Plus, and number two, on YouTube. So let's take a look. Now, I, 
because I know a lot of you are kind of freaked out that, oh my God, what if I record something and I make a fool of myself, it's okay. So here we go back to Google+. Plus. As you can see, my Hangout is showing up here uh, kind of in my feed. But what I can do is come over here to my profile. The way I access my profile is I just click on my little picture here and it says View Profile. And here I am on my profile. Here's my Google Plus broadcast. I come up here to this little downward facing arrow. I click on that. I click Delete this post. Delete it permanently. Delete. And post deleted. Dismiss. And for some reason it's still there. So let's click delete this post again. Delete this post permanently. There it is. So it's gone. So my post is gone from Google+. Now let's pop over to YouTube. Here I am on YouTube. I come up to my little profile picture, click on the downward facing arrow, access video manager. Here's my live broadcast right at the top. Click little checkbox next to my live broadcast. Click actions, click delete. And it's gone. Now let's say you did a great broadcast and you want people to actually be able to view it. You'll be able to share your YouTube link with them or embed it on a site or a blog so they can continue to see it. So pretty cool. A uh, way to broadcast worldwide, live on Google+, live on YouTube, live on any blog or website you have. For a million different uses, you can do interviews, you can do solo broadcasts. It's really, really pretty amazing. Yar that Ben Bloom B L U M Yar uh Yes Whew. Uh I figured instead of going through because I, I I mean I have a YouTube channel D Shanger Google Plus D Shanger of course and uh the uh so basically the app for both Android and uh, even though there's numerous other apps that you can live stream, it's through Google Hangouts. And uh, in, in, in a nutshell, uh, that is how you live stream to YouTube. Now, what is interesting because Google Hangout, I mean, you could use, say, Wirecast by Telestream, uh, a software right uh, to do it and you could use there's a whole host of other apps there's a whole host of other softwares even though that we're focusing on Android apps uh, and stuff uh, the uh, um, I'm gonna put it on the live chat rise and I have been chatting about stuff uh, yeah, uh, so actually, let's do the that's 3D mix. This is a 2D mix. One of the reasons why I had my image here during the other ones is sometimes when I cut back from screen to camera, it freezes. And uh, yeah, whew. okay, now I can breathe after four hours and 38 minutes. It says Howard in the background. Uh, Hi. Howard says hi. Hey, hi. Um, now, here's the interesting thing. Uh, accidentally, in researching a whole bunch of videos and how to do it and to save time, and because I don't, you know, the fact that in Hong Kong, that's what they're live streaming with. The one guy on the ground, uh, James, uh, is you is is using. Uh, his Google Hangout app, it seems like on Android, and he's live streaming from there. Now, the beauty of this 
in terms of saves is humongous using YouTube because you can have someone at home controlling the Google Hangouts. Now, both the person on the ground and the person here would have access to that one account and the passwords and all that, right? That's a beautiful thing that if anything happens to the live streamer on the ground, you never lose that save because it's a dual save here, not only on Hangouts, but also at YouTube, right? Um, now, there's no such thing as a local master. And yes, YouTube has been notorious because it's Google owned for really uh, being up the arse of police so that you'd want to download it really quick um, and save it locally in case they do uh, clear that. Uh, but then again, a lot of times, you know, live stream is a house of mirrors, right? And, uh, and because it's a house of mirrors, uh, it, uh, um, it, uh, everyone's mirroring everybody else so that, uh, the, because everyone's mirroring everyone else, uh, you have uh, you have uh, saves everywhere. So if you had ten live stream channels mirroring you, then at least you have uh, those multiple saves. And we're in the final ten minutes of the show, just because I I've up res the bit rate of our channel, and I have to save at the four hour and fifty minute mark. To make sure that we have the save on the channel because again if you go at least with the software you can go up to five hours depending on what the bit rate and the channel settings are because you can't upload anything to the server any broadcast over five hours now the thing with the apps again with you you stream uh two hours you have to save at the two hour mark even if you say to your viewers I have to save this at the two hour mark. I'll be back in five seconds. Save and you're back live, right? Rise, do you know how long on the app? I'm, I'm trying to find out this information at new live stream. How long you could actually live stream before you have to quickly, quickly save it or you lose it. Um, YouTube, it seems like it's unlimited, right? It feels like, because I know with Hangouts, you could hang out for hours, 12 hours, who knows. With YouTube, you can have. 10 12 hour uploads no problem i've done six hour uploads to youtube uh so i don't think there's a time constraint um unfortunately i'll have to get back to you next week about bamboozer uh, but usually the two hour mark for most apps uh seems to be the benchmark even though i once saw bella save at one hour and 31 minutes sorry um 131 minutes so that's two hours and 11 minutes so that's the new record at Ustream. uh but then again it depends on our settings right uh and uh yeah you're right rise the archival views at these the original ones is hell that's just because the server space at uh live stream is more towards actually live streaming here at the original accounts and you know they're putting all their eggs in the basket of the new ones and a lot of times rise i know you and i have talked about you stream is 180 minutes now whoa really that's new okay thank you do you know what the max is rise at uh so you stream app hot off the wires from rise is 180 minutes okay so that's why bella went to 131 minutes okay that's good you know i a new new about livestream.com uh did with the live stream app um i try to find out that information but it's strangely nowhere to be found uh uh and i will check on the bamboozer um i don't think there's even a time limit on uh, this youtube one uh which is interesting uh and uh yeah, the, the the archive, watching the archives at the uh, original accounts, the livestream.com accounts versus the new the livestream.com accounts. Um, yeah, it is tricky. You got the trick is 
It's a twofold thing. Click on the link you want, the archive you want to watch, and you're going to get an error message and the server is busy because it actually is. So the trick is, is refresh the page, refresh the page, refresh the page, like Homer eating a donut, refresh the page, refresh the page, refresh the page. It might take five times, it might take 15 times, and then it'll, step one, it'll finally take. When it takes, step two, just let it buffer. And it'll take a minute or two, and then you'll be able to watch it. So that's the trick with the original Livestream.com ones. That is the one major drawback to this archivist uh, and stuff. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, whew, this is a real crash course. I think if someone... Uh, if you're watching this in the archives, you're watching this on YouTube, that's why I transfer a lot of our archives to YouTube. I mean, if you're watching this in the archives because you, you want to learn how to live stream, uh, you're a live streamer. This is a good crash course. There's still lots more to, to think about. You know, there's production value. There's art. There's the politics. I mean, I touched upon a lot of the problems uh, and and stuff. So uh, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah. Any questions? Yar, wow, that's uh, ooh, another long show in the bag. Wow, <coughs> that was something. So, is there any uh, final questions, folks? Yeah, so some upcoming things we have. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't know the max says rise on the new live stream. Doesn't look like there is anything on it either. No, it's not unlimited. Uh, no, I've been trying to find that information for a while. I, I don't know why uh, they don't list that on their info about the live stream app. Uh, I have tried it and searched it. Uh, I don't know why they uh, overlooked that. Uh, I'd say to be on the safe side, you know, and this is just a guesstimate, uh, two hours. Like I said, you could, if you're approaching that two hour mark, just say, look, uh, I have to save this or I'll lose it. I'll literally be back in, in five seconds and you could be back in five, ten seconds, right? That's no big deal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's very important. So I got the final two minutes here. It's 448. So uh, I need to save this. Uh I'm right at the edge of approaching one gigabyte. Uh, so, uh, yep. Okay, folks. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. I will upload this to YouTube right after. Uh, whoo! Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, if you're watching this still in the archives, you're a live streamer. Uh, and this is a good, good crash course that I'll be doing uh, upcoming shows uh, on the iPhone app when I actually can borrow an iPhone to do so. This is Howard. We were Gopit Lodge in El Sabuktuk, ground zero for the whole anti-fracking movement here in uh, um, New Brunswick. A hotbed of anti-frackers we like to say frack off gas holes okay 
Save the water, Howard, says Rise. Whoa! Howard, what the? Whoa! That's a powerful kiss, Howard. Whoa! Woo! Okay. So I have to save. Since we live streamers never say bye, we rather we say peace out and see you on the live chat. Thank you, folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we got lots of shows coming up, and I'm at the Shanger at Twitter. Yar. Ciao, folks.